Hello, hello, hello. This is a live. I'm just waiting on people to come on in. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. inbox you and tell y'all it's coming on live but i want to surprise y'all i'm glad you're here thank you oh my god i was thinking about texting y'all letting y'all i mean inboxing y'all let y'all know it's coming on out here y'all know it's been like four months since i've done a live i just looked at my last live it was four months ago i feel so bad but y'all life been lifing but i'm here today hey y'all hey um, let me get this stuff ready on my computer so i can put all my links and stuff below this video there it is and let me make sure my connection is good. It's my first time doing a video live in my new home in Arizona. Hey, I'm in Arizona now. I know y'all like, y'all tired of me moving. I done moved and moved and moved and more moved. Well, like I said, life be lifing. So I'm here in AZ. Who's in Phoenix? Who's in Phoenix? Hello, hello, hello. Let me know where you're from and I can shout you out where you're at. Not where you're from, but where you're living. Where you're living at right now and I can shout you out. Say your name and where you're at. I'm trying to save everything, my links below. Just give me a second. Y'all coming up in here. I just see it. I just see it. I see it. I got 48 people watching. Oh, my God. Can I get them likes? Can I get them thumbs up? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm just saying that's been four months since I've been gone. I ain't been gone, gone, but I have been on YouTube doing a live. My last my last video was last week. So, I've been doing videos behind the camera, not speaking, you know, just doing my thing. But now, today, I wanted to show y'all. Come on out here and show y'all because I'm kind of cute today. So, I have to come out here and be like, hey. No. <laughs> I left church. I said, I'm dressed. I might as well go ahead and do a video. I'll be procrastinating. It's bad. It's, my procrastination is very, very bad. So, I'm in Arizona now. And I work, you know, a, a 9 to 5 now. So, it's like it's going to be hard to um come on. But, no. I'm going to start. Now, I can plan my videos. So, I'm going to start doing videos every Monday. I'm not going to tell you I'm going to start tomorrow because I'm doing a video today. But, start next Monday. I'm going to do a video every Monday. And I don't know what time yet because it depends on how busy my Mondays are. I have a lot of stuff I need to get done on Monday since that's my day off. But um, it'll definitely be every Monday from now on. So I hope y'all not busy. Who busy? Who busy on Mondays? Who can stand and watch me on Mondays, Monday evenings? Hey, Fabulosis. You're going to be there. Thank you. Hey, I was going to inbox you too, girl. Let you know I was coming. You and Dimps. They on and popping. I see y'all in y'all blue. Thank y'all for my moderators in the house. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, it's been a, it's been four months, y'all. It's been four months. Hello, um, Lavonia from uh, North South Carolina. Hey, Angie B, what you laughing at? Hey, um, was it Versi? Versi from Dallas, Texas. She said Dolly said, um, well not Dolly, but Molly said Monday works. Um, hey Bobby, I don't know where you from. Let me see what I miss. Y'all be in here. I see somebody from Louisiana, Oklahoma. Hey, Linda went from um, Oklahoma. Hey, um, Nina from Jersey. Hey, Gail from Texas. Hey, Picture Me Crafting. Okay, I see y'all in here. I got 58 people watching. What's been up, y'all? What's been up? Anybody from Phoenix? Glendale, Louisiana. Oh, Glenda from Louisiana. Okay, hey, Ohio. I'm from Ohio. Hey, um, Genesis from Akron, Ohio. Okay, let me see where y'all are now. If I miss y'all, I'm sorry. If you want to say your name again, if I miss you, you can say it again. Now, I'm looking now, so before I wasn't looking at my camera, so now I'm looking. So if y'all want to say your name again, where you from? If I didn't say your name. Hey, um, Maria 
from she out the country from say lucia oh no 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 that's lucia that's florida hey from florida hey um creation i can't be see your first name i need glasses y'all my glasses i got went to the eye doctor today they gotta give me some more glasses so i can't really see that good y'all i'm trying i'm trying i'm squinting um from mississippi angela from sip i mean from philly okay y'all what's been going on i was uh trying to think of what i want to do i was about to go to the mountains y'all but then i was like i got on the phone i just didn't happen so instead of me going to the mountain today i'm gonna go ahead and do this video and get it over with because i don't know if i'm gonna do it on tomorrow or not so i love it here in arizona the weather is nice it's like 80 degrees here now so it's hot and um i just been out viewing the city i left california last weekend had a good time my uncle stayed in san diego San Diego, so we had a good time there. California, went to California, went to the on the hood rides, which took us all to the homes in the hood from the from the um the it was like a hood tour, and it took us to all the houses from um all the boys in the hood. Uh, was the boys in the hood movie and was was Jody? What, which movie is that Jody played in? My Jody, my Jody, my Jody. Can't think of that movie. We seen that house. We seen a lot of different houses from the old school movies. It was really good for my son to see that. And it was just something he can um, uh, witness. It was really nice. Boy, yeah, Baby Boy. That's my movie. Baby Boy. It was a um, Boys in the Hood movie. We seen the movie The Porch. The the uh, the, boy, the, uh, the director, what's his name, from Boys in the Hood. He basically lived on the same street. So all his neighbors was able to push their homes in the... Um, in his new in his, in his movie and they didn't know that movie was gonna be that big i'm talking about um not boys in the hood i'm talking about with uh i'm all over the place y'all with uh ice cube and um chris tucker who's the name of that movie we saw all the houses in that movie. But the director of that movie, he basically lived um, in the same neighborhood. And his, um, all his neighbors let them use his house. And it was a good budget because he didn't have it then. But now he blew up Friday. Friday, yes. Friday. We went see all the houses for Friday. And the, lady, the people that owned the house, they was all nice and showing us and stuff. Pictures. It was a good experience, y'all. It was a good experience. That was in California. Seeing Nipsey store and stuff. And there was gated out. Gated up. Seeing all that stuff, too. Seeing the... A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. It was it was nice. Who live in Cali? Who's from Cali? Now I came. Yeah, I moved. She said you moved again. Yeah, I moved. It's my third time moving this this year. It's my last time moving this year because the year's almost up. Not saying I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. No time soon. So yeah, I moved again. Um. Let's see, y'all. I got on this video. Just I don't know what I want to do. I want to talk to y'all. I want y'all to talk to me back. Tell me what y'all want me to talk about. We want we can do a question. We can do a um a Q and A. Um, I want to thank y'all for my orders. I got a lot of orders. Cause let me tell y'all what happened. Basically, I moved. So you said you from San Diego. I was in San Diego last week, and I love San Diego. I love it. My uncle stayed down there. Um, you like it better in Arizona? Yes. Anything better than Toledo, Ohio? Arizona is nice. Every, the weather is nice all year round. Um, the weather is nice all year round. <laughs> the food, the nice places y'all know I like to eat. Um, and I'm right down the street from California, four hours away, so I can drive down there and go to the beach whenever I want. You know, it's close. So I love it. I love the um, vibe down here. It's really lots, a lot of stuff to do compared to what we was doing in Toledo. So I love it, y'all. So far, I've been down here since August. Yeah, the first August. So I like it. Um, okay. Yes, I, you know I eat good. You know I eat good. So y'all can ask me questions while I'm talking, but I want to thank y'all so much for the, the, um, all of my orders that I've received lately. I like my, my store had closed out. I closed my store because I was moving and I had stuff packed up and some of my stuff was still in Toledo because it wasn't there when I was able to move my stuff. So it's it a lot of stuff going on. So I got some stuff here. Some of my stuff is still in Toledo. I got to get it shipped here. So yeah. So I'm able to still, so I closed my store because I was, didn't, I wasn't able to work on my business. I had to find, you know, get me a job down here, everything. I work for the state. Everything is lovely. God brought me here for a reason. Everything flowing. Everything is wonderful. So me and my son is good. Um, and 
when I just opened my store the other day, like like last week or whatever, I was having problems because my credit card got stolen when I first got in here, or I lost my credit card. So yes, God is good. God is good all the time. Um, and He sure has blessed me. So I've been on a journey this year, ups and downs, but I'm good. Um, what was I say? I lost my credit card. So the credit card they were using on Etsy. They weren't getting their payments, so I didn't know. I forgot that I had my credit card on Etsy that the, the one I got stolen, so the card was gone. So when I got on it, they said my my store was closed, even though I closed it. But when I opened it back up, it was closed. So to make story, long story short, I got my credit back on, card on there, and the same day I got my credit card on there, I had like over 20-something orders, y'all. That was waiting for me to open up. So I appreciate y'all for going to charminggalboutique.com. And support me on my businesses even when I was shut down y'all wait till it came back up open back up so I appreciate y'all for that um and also support me on my videos even though I haven't been live I've been doing videos behind the scene doing different things and y'all been watching my videos so I appreciate that and if y'all to start um, following me go ahead and hit that like button hit that red bell so you can be notified when I do new vi videos so I will be doing videos once a week starting on Monday next week for sure start next week I don't know about Monday tomorrow Oh, I see what I can do. I might come back on if I can find something for y'all. Y'all can find something for me to do. I come over here and do it. So let me know what y'all want me to do. Cause I'm stuck. I'm like, what y'all want me to do? I was about to show y'all basically um all these patches I've done. I the only thing I gotta do now, I cut them, I did the patches. I basically just gotta seal them up with the um the glue to make sure it's what it's called heating, um heating bomb. I was gonna do that today if y'all want me to do that, or I can do a patch today. Um it depends on what y'all want me to do. This is Kobe Bryant's my Kobe patches be selling like hot cakes okay so i got a whole lot of orders with them him so i gotta basically i already shipped some stuff out yesterday so i gotta ship these out um tomorrow so i can finish these patch up that's all i gotta do is heat them up and i'm not using this hot heat press i'm gonna show y'all a little tour of my little room in a minute but this is a this is just an extra bedroom before i was in first i was in my basement and i was in my another house my my husband's house um so everything else is just changed everything's changed lifestyle everything changed so now I'm here in Arizona, and I have a, a bedroom that's um, my craft from now until I expand to um, get something bigger. But I am in the, <laughs> y'all said I wasn't moving again. I'm going to be, I'm looking for a space for my business because it's too small here. And I really want to start, um, it's too small in this bedroom. I'm used to a big space, but this is what I had to get right now to, to, make, it, to make, it, make, make it happen. But my goal is to start doing trainings. And I already had somebody here from Arizona. They said, since you're here in Arizona, can you show, can you please do some one-on-one tra trainings here? But I will not do that in my house. So I need to find me a building here uh, or either a nice, you know, a nice hall. I can rent out to um, do my little trainings here in Arizona. So I'm waiting to, to let that happen, you know, to get that started. What you say? Let's see. You're here and that's all that matters. Yes. Thank you. Zip flip us. That's all I have to say, huh? I'm here and that's all. Um, she said patches in DTF. Okay, my DTF machine, I, that was, mm, that, I was having a problem with that the other day, but then the guy, he came on, they really helpful. I got my DTF machine. If you don't know where I got it from, I got it from China. And, um, it's in the other room because it's kind of in this room. But it's, um, you check out my video. DTF is the bomb. Um, I love the, the, um, I love the machine. But what happened was, I blew a fuse in my dryer trying to do some shirts or whatever so I blew a fuse but it was okay because they sent me a bub and I can I can um do the um I can do it myself it's really easy they gave me a video or whatever and I can do it myself it's through pro color the links and stuff below if you want to go through pro color they will get a discount if you use my links but my fuse blew in my um my dryer so I can't use my dryer but I, I got a hack for y'all have y'all ever heard of a hack with the um you can dry your um DTFMs on a let me show you. I can't think of the dang old name. Of it. Let me show you what it is right here. I can't. I'm so bad with names right now. It's just like my brain is not working. I'm tired, y'all. But uh, it's on a grill. But it's not. It's, it's, it's a grill. A regular food grill. I don't use this anymore. So I said, let me just bring it up into my craft room. I did use this because when my heater went off, I said, I got to find out how to make do these shirts. So I basically used this grill and it works. Okay? It worked. So it's one of them electric grills. And you can lay your um, DTF on there. It's a hack. And it works. So let me show you my, what I do have in this room real quick. My embroidery machine, I have not used that since I've been here. I've been procrastinating, y'all. I have been procrastinating. There's my embroidery, I mean, my, um, my big boy 
it, uh, sublimation machine, okay? And then my other, uh, my sublimation machine right there, my printer is right there in the closet. Then I have um, my inverted machines right here. My uh, ones that I, that's what I use faithfully for my patches, okay? Then my, um, I got my um, tumbler press. I'm trying to read what y'all saying. <laughs> and I'm trying to look and see what I can't think and concentrate at the same time. Here's my big print, my big, um, my new machine. I got this down here, but my other machine's not down here yet. But this thing gets really hot. It, this whole room is smoking, okay? So I'm not going to use that today. If I do do the patches, I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to use my little mini press that I don't really use, but I used this the other day because I didn't want to turn that big old heat press on, okay? So I do have this, and I will be um, using that today if I do the, um, if I do the patches. Cause that thing be get, it get hot. So y'all know I got um uh -oh, let me put this back on the thing real quick. Sorry. I'm checking y'all up. But y'all know I do have a um a bigger embroidery machine. I don't have that here with me right now because I wasn't able to ship it when I came down here. So I'm gonna get that shipped soon. And I also have what else I have that's not here? Another heat press and my other um my other printer. So those will be here shortly. When I find some room, to, I got some room to put it, but I just need to get it down here. So, you said, oh, no, what? Fabulous. You haven't heard of the hack? Girl, I, you know, I had to figure out something. I'm like, something got to give because I'm not about to put this thing in my oven. <laughs> and I had an oven. I left the oven. I had a, remember, y'all, I had an oven for the, um, for we was doing celebration in the oven. I had that. I left that in Toledo, too. So, a lot of stuff I left, I had to downsize anyway because I had so much stuff. And I was a good participant. I basically gave a lot of stuff away to the Goodwill because I had a lot of stuff that, that I could, didn't use. I was just a hoarder and couldn't let nothing go. And I had the space for it, but now I don't have the space for it, which was good because I don't have to carry that stuff all around anyway. So, I gave a lot of stuff to my daughter. If y'all know my daughter, my grandson's birthday was yesterday. He just turned one. I missed it because my flights got all messed up, so I didn't get to make it. But he just turned one, so um, so I gave her a lot of stuff because she's doing really good at her signs. Y'all need to check her signs out, too. It's Shay's Design Signs. Her um, link is below, too. She does a lot of the wooden signs, outside outdoor signs. So she's doing her thing, so I'm so proud of her. It's Shay's Designs on, on Facebook. Um... So let me stop blabbering, blabbering, blabbering. Let me see how much money is that? Which, how much money is what? I'm sorry, I'm squinting because I have my glasses on. Yeah, it's a hack, y'all. It's it's a but just imagine. Okay, everybody talking about the hack that I'm telling y'all about this grill. You can basically put your um. Let me show y'all. This is what DTF look. This is a DTF film, right? Okay, so only thing you need to do is have something a hot surface. Usually you could just put it, you could hover it on your heat press right here and just basically put it right here and close the heat press down like this as long as I, I did that too. Okay, but it took too long. I was tired of holding this thing. But you, there is some um, heat presses that hover over it. And I think this one does, but I don't know how to do it yet. So if y'all know, tell me because I know this one guy, I watch him a lot on Facebook, I mean on YouTube, and he had the same... He has the same one. This is from Recoma. He has one. He said, in his video, he said, I like that we can hover over. You can do T DTF machines. But I can't figure out how he does it. So, it's supposed to be able to just stick right here, which is halfway closed. Not halfway closed, but partially closed. And it should be able to just let it go and let it do it. Do what it do. But I don't know how to do it. So, if y'all can help me, I help you. So, help me if you can. But basically, just basically, all you need is some heat to heat that thing up. And it don't take a couple seconds for I me. Mean, but like this, it probably takes... In my heat, in my heater it takes. I can't remember how many minutes, how many seconds it takes. Um, I can't remember. I'll let y'all know in a minute. I know I wrote it on my heater. My heater is over there, but it just don't work because the fuse blew. But it don't take that long for it to be. It don't take that long. Somebody on here probably know how long does it take to do it in, in a cure. How do, how long does it take to cure in your um oven? And just basically take it and just hold this down. And um, it'll work. If you don't have an oven, that's what I'm saying. Somebody said they use a the, um, convection oven. That's cool, too. That's cheaper than a heat press. I had a convection oven, but I left it in my other house. So I don't have that. So um, that's cheaper than getting the heat press. So if you um, don't get the oven, the um, DTF oven. We're talking about DTF, y'all. I'm not talk fast. I'm sorry. That's a disclaimer. I talk fast when I get excited talking to y'all. But um, if y'all don't can't afford the expensive ovens, y'all can use a um, convection oven. You can use your heat press. Just hold it down so it don't, won't touch it because it is kind of it's a plastic film, so you don't want that heat to touch it. And it will melt it. Um, or you can get, or you can put it on this little um, heating tray, this heating um, thing. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. My words are not good today, but um, 
And you can also hover it over with your with this if you want to. Because that's all it is, some heat. But the longer you wait, the longer I made up the whatever you use is gonna take a little bit more time for this because it's it's um or you can turn it upside down and set it on here too. With put some put some put some um parchment right here on here. Put this on there. People even use arms. People do a lot, but the, the, the smaller the object is, the smaller the um the um thing you're using is gonna take longer time. So it's so easy if you have a small design. Let me show you how I'm going. Got my phone charger. The smaller the design, look at this. It goes right on there. See how, how that fits on there? If you have a big, like a 3X or whatever, you're doing a big shirt, it's gonna be hard to do. It ain't gonna fit on there. So if you do do it like that, you're gonna have to probably turn it this way and then you gotta make it, you know, heat one part at a time. But look at that. This is the hack, y'all. And I can show y'all this hack. I'm probably do this. Um, I could probably do this tomorrow. I could do this hack tomorrow. Basically, the hack is to see, make sure you know how to heat this onto your um this DTF film. You heat it on this little um heating tray. I can't think of the darn name for it, y'all. So I know it's a name. Okay, the griddle. The griddle. <laughs> it's been a long time. So you plug it in and you just lay it on here. You can put some. You can put the same paper on here too. The parchment, it's not the parchment paper, but it's the, um, ugh. You put this on here. All my words are not coming together for me. And you just put it here. But when I did it, I didn't even use this paper. This I didn't use this. I just put it on there by itself. And it got really hot, but it melted. And it, um, basically you cured. You can't see the, um, you can't already cure this, so you can't really see it. Basically, you could tell when it's heating up, it looks like an orange peeling. Okay, so I can show y'all that. It, it, it was cute. It was cool because I was able to watch it cure. But in the oven, you can't see it cure. Let me show y'all my oven. Teflon sheet. I know y'all gonna help me. I know y'all, I talk so fast, I can't think, y'all. This is the oven right here. And I got, uh, this came with the, um, this came with my printer from Pro Color. And it was not their fault, y'all. It was my fault. That's why the fuse blew. It blew because of me. So it wasn't nothing to do with their company. And they still sent me one for free, of course, because they basically gave me the machine. Um, they gave me the um DTF machine. So that's why then they want me to, you know, present it to y'all, show y'all how it works. Y'all heard that. That paper I'm just picking up, it fell to the floor. But um, so they basically sent me a new fuse box. The thing was, the reason why I blew the fuse because I, it was too much going through my um socket and I blew the fuse in my home and it blew the fuse in the box. So next time you know, you got to get one of these things right here so you won't blow your fuse in your home. So that's why now I use, every, I use that because I didn't know I wasn't getting that much power out of my fuse, out of my electric outlet. Okay, let's see. I love your new craft space queen. Thank you. It's small, but y'all, if y'all was, if y'all been following me since day one, remember when I first had my first craft room when I, during COVID, and I had my, I was in a condo, and I had my, uh, my extra bedroom, which is about the same exact size as this. Yes, it was. So I started off in a bedroom, and I expanded to my basement. Y'all, y'all know. I spent into my basement in our craft room. I said, forget that. I'm taking all my furniture out of my basement. And I put my craft room in. If y'all been there for, from day one, let me see some purple hearts. I already know you was there, fabulous. Well, who else was there? Thank you. She said she loved my dress. I went to church today, y'all. So I got my little church clothes on. I ain't changed my clothes yet. So I thought, I'm cute. So let me go ahead and do this video real quick. But yeah, if y'all was here for me when I was in my bedroom, the same size this, starting off around COVID, please let me see the purple hearts. And after I left there, y'all, I went to my basement, and that was, I loved it, my basement. I, I loved that kind of, I wish I would never moved. But I got married, and I moved. And, um, so, that, that kind of was, oh, my everything. Who else? I'm biased. Okay, picture me crafting, tap it. Y'all was there, yay! Thank you for, I, oh, I appreciate y'all, I appreciate y'all, I appreciate, Miss Parker, I remember, yes. <laughs> I remember her name. Oh, y'all making me, y'all making me cry. I made me cry. So, thank y'all for still being here with me all these years since COVID, since I was in my little room. Now I'm back in, but then okay, I went from the bath, the bedroom to the to the basement. Then I moved. Where I go from there to um my husband's house. I had his whole house. Then I I got kicked out of that. He kicked me out, y'all. He he kicked me out. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so then I went to the house. That we was living staying in the basement and that basement was huge, but it wasn't finished. But it was so good because it was like I had all my stations. 
had all my stations and it was just so even though the ceiling wasn't done it was still my space so it was all y'all was here Shar, knee harding marcia sandra e davis do some y'all names sound new but if y'all say oh thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all i love them purple hearts thank y'all for being here um i'm so old school but i do remember you in the basement you just Got out the condom room, yep. But I don't know how you did the purple heart. Oh, she said she don't know how to do the purple heart. <laughs> well, thanks for the paragraph. I love reading. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But so, yeah. So, yeah, I went from there. So, now I'm in Arizona. And I have... I can't see y'all. I got 80 people watching. Thank y'all. Let me see them hearts. Let me see them thumbs up. And let me please like this video. Please like this video. Um, I got 34 likes. And you be watching. So can I get them likes, please? Hey, TT Creations. TTC Creations. Um, my vision is bad, y'all. Bad. Yep, since COVID. Angie B. Yep, hey, Angie. Um, I sent you. Check out MGB videos. Check out Fabulous videos. The, the dips. Do you have videos on YouTube? I don't know if y'all names are still the same on y'all page. So shop with y'all names down here, y'all. Check out my girls on Facebook. They've been rocking with me and... I'm going to shout them out. I know y'all on Facebook. Who else got videos on Facebook? I mean, I'm sorry. Who else has... My brain. I'm tired. Who else have videos on YouTube? If y'all have videos on YouTube, if y'all have a channel on YouTube, y'all I'm um, doing crafting, go ahead and put y'all name down here so whoever's watching can see y'all videos. Okay. Um. So, what y'all want me to do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna see this, let me see, let me do this patch real quick. I got this HBCU patch. I just found some easy, so I'm gonna be here all day on this video. Because I was about to go to the mountains, but it's dark now, so we are probably going next week. I've been procrastinating. I've been going to the mountain, mountains for the last three weeks, and I ain't been yet. But um, I can do this HBC um, patch. Okay, we can do a patch. It's hard to downsize, but sometimes it's good to downsize. Bonnie said it's, Bobby said it's hard to downsize. It's so hard because that's the reason why I had so much stuff because every time I went somewhere, I took my stuff with me. And it's like, why did I bring this stuff? I'm not going to use this stuff. I'm done. It's sometimes you start crafts, you're like, well, I did it once. I'm not going to do it again. So sometimes you're like, you just grow out of that kind of craft. Like, I did. I was doing them reefs, them Afro girl reefs. I love doing that. But it's a time and place. I mean, I just stop doing them some some things i just like i got so much stuff in um so, so much stuff i was like why am i come on pull this stuff bring this stuff with me and this house is smaller than the house i've been living in that I was living in so i'm like i'm not gonna bring this stuff here so i wouldn't just stack it up somewhere in the garage or somewhere to get a storage to pay for a storage and i'm, gonna, I'm not gonna use it so i donated a lot of stuff and i gave a lot of stuff to my daughter um hey anita i've been good do you still have, no i sold the daycare I, everybody know I had daycare in Toledo, and I said when my daycare was, um, basically my daycare was going down, um, I was having family issues, and I was like, it's time for me to go. So, um, I sold my daycare, and everything went well, everything is well, everything is good now, I'm, I'm good, I'm in good space, so, I'm good. So, um, yeah, so, um, and everything worked out really well. My daycare, um, everything's good. And now I work for the state, so I've got to have a nine to five job, and I love that too. So God put me here, and everything is great. My um, job is nice. The house I moved in is wonderful. The, the state is beautiful, and there's so many things to do down here. And I love it. So let me show y'all what I got going on over here. Oh, let me see. My nails is too long. I'm trying to push buttons, and it's not working. So what I'm going to do today is take you off of this tripod because it's blocking my view this little quick um hbu um hbcu patch i'm gonna do just to have some fun to do that's not gonna be too long to do so i'm gonna be here all night and why i why this patching i mean why this is um going the machine is making the patch i can still talk to y'all okay so this is basically my embroidery machine it is the nq 1600e brothers a novice who has this machine if you have this machine say i do because i know y'all say i can't do the um thumbs up or y'all can't do the hearts let me say i do or purple hearts if you have this machine this much this is the first machine i got this is the pe 800 i love the pe 800 because this it's a beast this thing goes through 
I mean, it goes, but this goes too. But this one right here, <laughs> the PE 800 is only for five by seven hoops, right? I got videos on all of this stuff in here that you see in here. I have uh, over a hundred some videos. So check those videos out in detail so you can know the difference between these two machines. But I bought this one first from Walmart right when COVID started because I was bored in my house. I had no, I couldn't go to work and I was stuck in my house. So I bought me this and I bought me a, um, a, a sewing machine. Check out the in videos and I basically started sewing. I, I basically started doing patches and this is how i'm here now over a hundred thousand subscribers later so um this thing got me through a lot now i was like okay i need another machine because i was having more patches so instead of um i bought another one this one right here goes to this this hoop is a uh, what size is this hoop y'all it's huge it's, it's this big is this the one yeah this is the one this is how big the hoop is and this uh tell me somebody what hoop size this hoop is <laughs> I can't think of it right now and I don't have everything written down, but I know people on here have that machine. So um this um has a bigger hoop. That's why I bought this one because I wanted to do shirts and stuff. And I'm like, I can't afford the other machine that the big the, the six needle. So I was like, let me get this one. So then um I got this one first, this one second, and then I have the big machine over there. But you can do everything on there. Bags, shirts. It's a six by ten. Thank you, Fabulous. That's hoop I just showed you is a six by ten. So six by tens, you can do shirts, you can do hoodies. But then you need to do, if you want to do three X's and uh, uh, two X's, three X's and four X's, you got to get a bigger machine. So this machine right here, I said, let me go ahead. I, yeah, I was doing good in my businesses. So I was able to afford to get that machine. So that machine can do everything. But then I got a bigger machine, which is, uh, that's a six. What's the, and the other one I have is, uh, um, <sighs> I can't think of I any, mean, man, I haven't seen it in a couple of months. So I forgot what, this, what is it? It's a, um, I feel so bad y'all. I'll tell y'all in a minute. Okay, so let me show y'all um, how this starts off real quick. I'm all over the place. Sorry. So the, um, this is the HBCU patch, and it's going to be, I'm going to be using gold and black. It's only two colors. As you see right here, there's only two colors in here. So it's um, gold and black. And then it's, you just basically, I already got the um, the thread on here. I already got it in there. And I can show y'all show y'all how to thread the machines in my other videos. Thank you. It said in Racoma 1010. And this is why I was going to tell me what it was. I do not know why my brain is so foggy right now. Because y'all know when y'all have a lot of machines. Let me tell y'all that in a minute. Hold on. I'm going to push this button so I can go ahead and start going while I'm talking to y'all. So I'm just going to go ahead and put. Let me make sure it's big enough. Size. As big as I can get. It's a it's a 4x4 four four hoop. Oh, no. It's a 5x5 five five hoop. I want it on a 4x4 four four hoop. Uh. That's the wrong design. Let me see if I can turn it around because it's right here. It's telling me that it's on the five by seven hoop, and I just want to do something really small, a four by four. So let me try. And it says it's too. So that's too big. Let me bring. See if I can bring it down some. But I can't. It's not letting me go to the four by four hoop. So I gotta find another design. Let me see if I can turn it around. Maybe it'll um rotate it. It's still gonna be too big. I, I, I thought I was ready for y'all. Oh, there it is. Sure, man, I'm doing the wrong button. So now I can I made it I made it smaller so it could be a four by four. And sometimes you can't do this because if you make it smaller, sometimes it won't stitch right. But this one right here, I believe it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna rotate it back. I'm just basically if y'all can't see it, my nails as long as I gotta basically do it this way. I'll rotate it back the other way. Let me see if I can do it that way. Size. Make it go back to a four by four by four hoop. Nope. I'm not gonna do the wrong button, y'all. Okay. There we go. So right here is telling me this is the four by four hoop, five by seven hoop, six by nine hoop. Okay. And that's the size right here. Okay. So then I basically I just rotated. I made it the size I wanted to be. I already put my little um. What I use when I do embroidery. <laughs> I can't think what this is called. I'll think about it in a minute. I feel horrible today, y'all. I use this. I get it from um, Joanne Fabric, and I know somebody gonna tell me in a minute what is it, what it's called. But my brain is is crazy. I'm so sorry. What the heck is this called? I don't even, I'm gonna even show y'all. Like I, it look like this. It's, it, you can get it in. Um, I get it in yards. Okay, so this is how it looks. I feel horrible today, y'all. Maybe I need to do some train train myself again because I've been forgot everything. I ain't been here in four months. I haven't been on live in four months. That is crazy. 
But it's somebody, it's, yeah, it's not stabilizer. The stabilizer is right here. This is stabilizer. And this is the um, fabric you have to use for patches because it's really thick. Okay. Travelosis twill. No, it's not twill. It's not felt. Duck. It's duck. Duck fabric, okay? It's duck fabric. And it's like, it, it, it's not twill because twill has, it, it's not twill, but it's duck fabric. You get this from um, Joanne Fabrics. Thank y'all for y'all help because my brain is foggy today. I'm so sorry. But um, I get it from Joanne Fabrics. You can get it from Joanne Fabrics. Um, yeah, any sewing. Yeah, Joanne Fabrics probably the only place that has it. Or any place that sells fabric in your in your state. It's really thick. It's thicker. It's, it's different. It's stiffer. And it's, it's, it's more durable than cotton. So this is what I use. I use the um, duck fabric, okay? I have used felt before too, but this is much better for me. I, I really like the way this, this, this works, especially when it comes to patches, okay? But when you can you can embroider on anything, but when you're doing patches, this is what I use. But you can embroider on cotton, you can embroider on anything. Don't use polyester, because polyester stretches a lot and your your thread, it won't it is it'll stretch and it don't won't look right. I've made some stuff on some polyester shirts and it did not it didn't it didn't it didn't stitch out right. Uh, but you also can use different stabilizers to make it stitch right, but still I wouldn't I wouldn't um say get you no know, polyester because it's kinda it's too thin. Okay. Polyester use polyester for um for um, sublimation. Okay. So here I go. I'm about to just go ahead and go. It's about to be loud, okay? Oh, I'm supposed to use black first, not gold. So I didn't see that now. See, now I see that I'm supposed to use black first and then gold because the black is on the bottom. So it's only, this is how many steps you have. One, two, three, four. It might be another step, but I can't see it because it's not going to let me go up. So it's only black and yellow, black and yellow. But I thought it's going to be the yellow first. So let me switch my um thread over to the black first and y'all can see me how y'all can see how I, I thread the machine now since I gotta switch it over. It's gonna be kinda hard to see though because I cannot hold the phone. Let's see how it's gonna work. I'm just putting my phone on this tripod. It's gonna be hard to see because the way this tripod is can y'all see that? No, it ain't gonna work because it's gonna fall over. But y'all can see a little bit while I'm doing this. I have a lot of tripod tripods and stuff at my other house. I left those there too. Well I gave my daughter some stuff too but um this is how it's going to be for right now. So I can try to, this is my first time doing a live video. So I got to see what works, y'all. I, I haven't did a video in this, in this new spot. So if I figure out what's going to work better, I'll get it together. If I remember all the products I use and all the material I use. Golly, Charmaine. But that's all I'm about to say to y'all. It's hard being a crafter and having so many different machines to remember all this stuff. Because I've been going, this I've been going for months. Um, so it's hard to remember the machines, the name of the machines, how many, how many stools of thread it carries, you know, like this, that, like I said, the names of the machines, there's so many things that you got to remember, <laughs> to remember, like, it's not that I just do one craft, I do everything, I do a lot of, a lot of crafts, so, a lot of machines that goes with those, along with those crafts, okay, so please forgive me if I forget, but my girls got me, thank y'all for helping me when y'all know my brain gets stuck. Okay, so now I got that on here. It's telling me the black gonna be first. That's 12 minutes. So then I gotta push the pressure foot down right here. It brings it down. I already thread the machine. And I just push go. So y'all can just, I can just, y'all, I'll be sitting here letting the machine go and I go downstairs. I go to the shower. I wash clothes. You can do so much stuff while I just think the machine is working. You can tell how long it's gonna take and tell you how long it's gonna be. So when you know that machine stops, you gotta come back up here and fix it. You know what I'm change the thread. But on this machine up here, you ain't got everybody changing the thread. You can let it go, keep on going, keep on going. So I will do a video on that uh, soon. But I do have videos of everything in here already. So y'all can go ahead and binge watch my other videos <laughs> until I come back on and do the rest of the videos. But I got so many videos that's gonna help y'all do whatever crap y'all doing. So right now, tell me what y'all doing. What y'all working on at home? What y'all craft is? Tell me what it is so I can get some motivation to maybe I can help, you know, do some stuff on my page, whatever y'all working on. So what y'all see now is just going to be um, sewing the bottom layer of the patch, the, the bottom stitch. And after that, it's going to do the gold. That's how it goes. So I'm going to come back and show y'all how. I know you ain't going to see this all day long. But it's just, it's kind of stupid just to watch this thing go. But I'm going to come over here and talk to y'all a little bit while I'm longer. You can't really see the black on black that much anyway. So when you use the gold, I'm going to show y'all how the gold is going to be looking. I'm sorry, y'all dropped some stuff on the floor. Can y'all still hear me? 
I just hold the phone, so I want to put it inside that thing. Okay, it's okay. You forget. Just keep going. Thank you. I appreciate the motivation and the kind words because y'all sister been through a lot this last year. So I appreciate y'all all for having my back and for supporting me and just being there and checking on me because a lot of people inbox me like, where you at? Where you been? So I appreciate the love and the support. I really do because it's been times where I'm just like, Ooh, ooh, being a crying in the corner crying some dang on weird. But then I get I get um emails from y'all or they gonna let me cry right now. Ooh, ooh. Um I'll be getting texts and stuff from y'all and stay saying, Where you been? We miss you. So that would brought me back. Even though I was gonna come back, but just the procrastination and just getting life back to order and um make sure my son is good and making sure I'm I just moved to another whole other state. So I had to make sure I was good before I got some free time to do my little video. So I appreciate you. What you mean, tie the thread off? Let me see. Embroidery, sweatshirts, beanies. Yes. Oh, that's what you're working on? Um, fabric. Fabric. <laughs> Fabulosis. Oh, my God. You're working on um, beanies and stuff? That's good, too, because right now, like I said, I live in Arizona, so we really don't wear coats down here. But that, um, so it's a lot of hoodies. So I love hoodies. And I've been doing a lot of DTF hoodies. I have like over 20 hoodies in my closet that I made for myself and my son. And I made some for my husband too. But I love making hoodies. I love making hoodies. I love making anything DTF because it's easier. Like it's time. It's, it's less time. Like for embroidery, you got you to gotta do a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love embroidering. But you got to get it together. You got to get the thread together. You got to make sure the machine working right. But <laughs> DTF. As long as you got a DCF machine, get that um, printer, print that thing out. I mean, find your image, print it out, put your little, um, I'm about to say a little dust on it. <laughs> put your little powder on it, put it in the heater, and then let that heat up. Put in, it's, like, it's like a lot of steps, but it's, to me, it's just so much easier than doing embroidery. Who do embroidery and DTF? If you do embroidery and DTF, which one do you think is easier? The embroidery or DTF? Hey! Yeah, yeah. Hey, dude, dude, dream on. She said, dust. <laughs> yeah, dust. A little, put just put a little dust on there. Just put a little dust on there. But now it's called uh, DTF powder. And this, who y'all? Which one y'all think is? Put, yes, DTF. Even though, as I was just telling y'all, the steps to DTF, it's like it was a lot, but it's not because with them thread, that thread on that embroidery machine to make sure it didn't break in, make sure you got the right thread, make sure it's going on the right color, make sure you got, you know, make sure the the shirt has. Uh, the, the shirt has the um, stabilizer under it. Make sure there's the, the dang on image is gonna print out right. That's all embroidery. But don't get me to say I'm not trying to bash embroidery because embroidery is the bomb because it lasts longer than anything. That thread be on point. It don't go nowhere. It don't. It don't do nothing. It's there forever, forever, and ever, and ever. But the and DTF lasts a long time too. But when you watch DTF a lot over some years, it might it will kind of crack. Just like I mean, just like cricket. And y'all, my poor cricket machines, they probably dusted and dusted, dust, dust, dust. I ain't used them things in so long, and I'm not trying to bash cricket either, because I I used to love cricket, but that DTF is the game changer. So if you don't have the money right now, which is okay, cricket is cheaper than DTF, but it's, you just got to do that thread, that weeding and stuff like that, but it still looks good. Cricket, is, it look good, okay? So... Yeah, I'll be talking, y'all. I'll be talking. I'll be into it. Y'all be getting me started. Um, let me see what y'all saying. I gotta look down. My eyes is horrible. Yes, I love your videos. I was wondering when you where you were, but glad you're here. I'm in a better space, head space. Yes, I have a better head space. Thank you. Thank you. DTF, but I buy pre-printed DTF. Okay, so you don't print your DTF, you just do your DTF shirts. Okay, that's cool. Um, I do DTF. It's for sure. Yes, it's it's so. And I know um do do dream on. And I think I know Fabulosis. I begin Fabulosis and Dimps. Um, confused Dimps. I know Fabulosis. You have an embroidery machine too. I don't because she Fabulosis the one who showed me how to make, use my my um, embroidery machine. She's the bomb. And I don't know if Dimps. Um, I don't know if Dimps have an embroidery machine. I don't know. Dips what you have. And I know Do Dream On. Watch her videos too. She's on YouTube. Do Dream On. She you got embroidery machine and a DTF, right? Do Dream On. Um Yes, but um I love embroidery. I cause but I love the patches more than anything. Because 
they just I don't know, it's just fun to do. They put, I had a whole bag of patches that I made. I know I got a video on that too. I don't know what happened to that bag of patches I made. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of stuff is missing. So, um, a lot of stuff I don't have. So, I'm going to start making patches over so y'all can see that. So, this one, my one of my first patches. That's why I got to do now because I got I don't have any of my old patches. I used to always come on the videos and show y'all. They're gone. They're missing in action. So, now I'm just going to start up and start showing y'all different patches. Just, just showing y'all. Because I had, if y'all remember the big old bag of patches I had that I did this, and I do that because when, um, basically take pictures of them so I can be able to put them on my Etsy page. And plus I can show y'all how they look, and I was just so proud of them. I'm just showing everybody how they look. But, oh, here's one right here. I found one. Now, this, this is just the glue on the back of it. I need to cut it off or whatever, but this is just, a, I found it in my box. I'm like, oh, I found a patch that I made. And they were so many of them, y'all, and it was so pretty. Just, I could just show y'all how it looks so y'all could be like, oh, my God. So, like, a lot of people, when I show y'all these patches, y'all be like, I'm going to get me one. That's how y'all, I'm sorry. I'm the one who made y'all um, spend y'all money. But embroidery is the bomb. This is the embroidery patch, y'all. Just, just forget about the glue on, on the bottom of it. Just forget about the glue. But um, this is the embroidery patch, and I love the, I love these patches, y'all. This is all thread. All this is thread. Check out my videos. I show you up videos of the patches I made, the patches I sell. You can look on my Etsy page. She's the bomb. So I was happy I found her. At least I found one patch. But I'm going to go ahead and just start making more patches so I can maybe have them in my my possession so I can be able to just show, so I can just see, look at them. They're just so cute now. <laughs> so, um, the thread doesn't break. What you mean? Let me see. But I love embroidery. I want to learn both. I Okay. Um, I'm just trying to see what I missed. If I missed any of y'all questions or whatever, just say it again. I'm sorry. I'm talking and it's hard to go through here again to read what I missed. She, okay, somebody, um, Cynthia said embroidery, embroidery is safer because it's no films. That is true. It's, it is safer. Then um, DTF, because DTF has the fumes when you have to um, basically cure your um, powder, your DTF powder on your DTF film. So it is fumes involved in that. Um, and they say it could be toxic. I haven't had any um, reactions to it. I have had reactions to, uh, what was I doing? I had to, I couldn't do it The um, when doing those, uh, so you my, my, my brain about to fry, uh, freeze up again, but um, the tumblers. What's the call when they did the tumblers and I had to, um, I couldn't do it. My, my son got a allergic reaction to it. It's just a way you cure the, the tumblers and it was really toxic, really toxic. So I couldn't do that anymore. So I started doing crystal lac. I wanted to do anybody still do those kind of tumblers. That was back when I first started too. They was doing crystal lac on the tumblers and stuff like that and, and doing all that painting and stuff. And now everybody just do sublimation. Sublimation um, is a good way to just do tumblers instead of doing all that other stuff. That's why I was going to tell me again what was it. And somebody, Bobby said she still loves sublimation. I love some sublimation too, but sublimation you are limited to the um, material you use. You only can use polyester, have polyester, unless you do all those um, different kind of hacks. But I don't like doing hacks, especially when I'm selling it to somebody, because when you're doing hacks, I mean you're not doing it the correct way. You're doing it the easiest way, and sometimes the hacks don't last long. Get, tell me if I'm not. Tell me if I'm wrong. But I just think sometimes the hacks don't last long if you... And if you sell it to your client, your customers, I think people just do hacks just for themselves, just to do a just to be um, crafting for themselves. But I don't think they do hacks and sell it. Maybe they do, but I don't because I want to make sure I'm doing the correct way to sell to my customers. Okay, she says she don't have a DCF currently, but I I've, I've done a hack. Oh, okay. So yeah, I know um, Do Dream does a lot of hacks, and they look really interesting. But I'm just a scaredy cat. I mean, I would do them for me. I do hacks for me and just to you know just to test them out. And I think Do Dream On she does the washing, um, she does the hacks and then she still wash them to show y'all how it looks after it's washed. So check her out. She got a lot of videos on her, on her um, a lot of informal, um, informative videos on her on her page, on her um, YouTube channel. Um, okay, just started doing patches. So yeah, I think don't you have a um, Recoma Do Do Dream On? I have a Recoma also, it's the 1010 uh, Recoma, teeny little machine, and I have a 60 little machine. My Recoma is still in Ohio, I'm, I got to get that shipped down here because I have enough room when I moved down here, my had a moving company, I had the everything, but I didn't have enough room. So I couldn't bring that down here, down here. But I will be getting that stuff soon. 
Do you digitize your patches? No, I don't. That's something that I could do because I do have the Recoma, and the Recoma machine have, shows you how to do that, or you can do that in your Recoma, but I don't have time to do that. So I mostly get most of my patch images from Etsy. I'm about to forget that quick. Etsy, but I also got this digitizer on Start with an F. <laughs> I'll tell y'all in a minute. It's a um, place you can go to. I know somebody's going to tell me. <clears throat> it's, a, it's an app you can go to, and they do everything on this app. Start with it. Fever. Fiverr. If you can say a fever or fiver, it's spelled F-I-V-E-E-R or F-I-V-E-R-R. It's fiver, fever, whatever you want to call it, but it's the bomb because you go to fever, fiver it's on. A, it's an app. Not com. It's an app. You download it. It's probably a, it's, you probably go dot com too. It's dot com, but um, there's people all over the country that does so many things. Digitizers. I don't have. I didn't got me a, a good digitizer, but I don't want to recommend her because I rather y'all go and check it out first. Go into Fiverr and just um look at other people works because she might not digitize like y'all want her to. And I and I'm like, oh, you refer me to her. I like her. So what I did was just go on Fiverr. Say you're looking, you just put in, you're looking for a digitizer, and then you look at their work, and you choose like that because people are different. Their prices are different, but it's very cheap. Like you can get a patch digitized for like four dollars. What you need to do is just send them a picture of a PNG, send it to them um, through email or whatever, or through the uh, Fiverr app, and they can digitize it for you, and they tell you what time, how, how long it take. They'll tell you how long they'll take you to digitize them, and they tell you how much they charge, and they tell you what size they make. They tell you everything all over Fiverr. Fiverr.com, the bomb. But Fiverr.com, Fever, however you want to say it, um, they also do, they do all kind of stuff. They do resumes. They do all kind of stuff. So just check them out. I'm not getting paid to sh tell y'all about them, but I use them. So check them out because they are the bomb. When you have a business that you get stuff done, they will help you. They are, they, they, they are everywhere. They're all around the country. The workers, the um, people on there, the app is everywhere. So they mostly out the country, so they times are different. So check them out. Epoxy. Yes, that's what it's called. Cynthia. When um, my son is alert to epoxy, and that's when back in the when back in the day. Do people still use epoxy now? Resin, epoxy is the same thing, but it's different names. Do y'all still use those on y'all tumblers and stuff? And if if y'all do, let me see y'all thumbs up or let me see y'all hearts or just say I do. Um see a lot of trending crafting phases, they phase out. So I was just wondering if that's still a thing. Okay, so let's see what's going on. I'm going to show y'all real quick. I'm going to put on my little thing so I can, um, my tripod so I can change the thread. So there we have it. There's the black. There's the um bottom layer of the thread. So this is a patch. So it's doing this because this is how the design is made. I got this design made from Fiverr. Basically, I show her. I was doing a lot of HPC, um, HPCU um, things. So I just sent her a PNG of this image and she did that for me. She digitized it for me. Okay. What is it right there? I don't know what that's it. I gotta see if they print out. But um, so this is the bottom. So now I'm about to go ahead and do the next one. Oh, the next one is black steel. So I'm gonna keep the black in there. That's just going. And people digitize stuff different because sometimes they do the border. The last thing would be the border. But right now they're gonna do the border. So let's go ahead and push it again. But since it's a different step, they they stop the machine and think it was a different. I could change this color if I want to, but I'm not gonna change the color because I just want to have it gold and black. So you don't have to have the same color right here on here. If it say black, you can put whatever color you want. It's up to you and how you want to do this. Okay. So um, I'm gonna keep it black because this is the way I want it. So I don't have to change the thread right now. It just thought I was gonna change the color, but I didn't. Who? Maybe I asked y'all this already, but who embroidered? I know Dimps and um the ones the, the ladies I know, but who on here that's new to this channel or maybe y'all not new? Just tell me if you embroider, if you have an embroidery machine at home and which one you have. Let's see. Yeah, I don't sell. Let me see. I don't sell my hat. Yeah. Buy, buy what you can afford. Yes, that's what I said. Buy what you can afford. That's why I'm trying to tell people like people do hex because they can't afford it, which is fine. Which is fine. That's what you. That's what I started off doing. I did a lot of hex too, and I'm doing a hack today because my dog on my heater. Not today, but I will be doing a hack because my uh, heater went out. So I have to do something. So it's always hacks are good to do. Um, it helps you out and it saves you money. But I just don't sell my hacks. I do hacks like, um, but this what I will sell if I'm if I'm heating up something. 
Yes, I will sell that because this is going to work as a heater. So if I put my heater, with, with a, heat, a hack is basically, if you're doing something, you're not using a regular machine, like you're not using a regular dryer, the dryer that came with the dryer that came with the BTF machine. So you can use a convection, um, convection oven, that's a hack, because it's not the real thing, but it's still an oven. This heat little um, griller, griddle that I'm going to use, that's a hack, but it's a heater, so it's going to still do the same thing. It's going to heat my um, BTF film to make it um, work to press on the shirt. And I guarantee it's going to work because it does the same thing as a heater. But it is a hack, okay? Y'all just called Fiverr, F-I-B-E-R-R. So I didn't know if it was two E's or it was two R's. So yeah, that's how you spell it. So you still use epoxy? Oh yeah, I love Racoma. She said she wanted somebody money to um they wanted Racoma. I love Racoma because they basically are there for you forever. Then you can call them if something happens. You can you, they can help you with whatever is going on with your machines. It's under warranty. If you get a warranty, but they're always there. They do trainings and stuff. They they printers. So if you see if you want to uh, um a Racoma, I have a link below. Go ahead and click on that link and you get a discount on your Racoma from the link below this video. If you want to see up machine, you can click on my link, you'll get a, um, um, a discount on that too. Just say my name, Charmaine Galloway. Um, I think they, everything on the Galloway still. Maybe my, my um, maybe my Recoma is on the Hayes. So just say Charmaine Galloway Hayes. Uh, let's see. We can make patches easily with What's that? Oh, I never heard that before. Merle from ingredients. I never heard that fabulous. What is that? Uh, I have a P800. Yes, I love the P800 that I have not used. What? You don't, oh, you gotta get it out simply being R. Get your machine out. And if you don't know how to use it, look at my videos. I have so many videos on the P800. I got, I make, um, I make, uh, too fast to think. I'm talking too fast. Can't think what I'm gonna say next. <laughs> I made patches on my P800. I made hoodies on my P800. Hoodies, yes, on a five by seven for my son. Um, I made purses, like little um uh, pouches, little um fanny packs on my P800. So check the videos out, y'all. Yeah, a whole fanny pack, okay, with a strap, everything, a whole fanny pack. I made, um, I'm trying to think what things that I made that you're like, what? On the, on the embroidery machine? Yes. Fanny pack purses. Of course, you know, you can make hoodies, t-shirts, onesies, um, blankets. Um, what other thing you'd be like, oh my God, tell me something y'all know that I made. And I was like, oh my God, you do that on the embroidery machine? On the one needle machine? I made it happen. Oh, I embroidered um, 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 bunny ears on one. I even embroidered on the back of a jean jacket for me and my son. Um, yeah, on the one needle machine. So people were like, why y'all buy them little machines? Can you do a lot of stuff with them? Yes, you can. Save your money. And you can still do a lot on, I mean, you could do way more on this big thing right here. Six needle, but you could do a lot on the one needle machine. But just try to get one with the bigger hoops if you want to do bigger things. If you're doing just kid stuff, you can just do a five by seven. But if you're doing adult stuff, you want to get that six by nine machine. And it's you really limited when you come to that, when you're doing anything over two X, you'll probably have to come to this. But if you're just doing bibs, you can embroider bibs for little babies. You can do blankets. You can do um, kid stuff. Um, you can do pot holders. You can do mittens. You can do beanies. You can do uh, caps. I did all that. Now that's if I left at I got that stuff that I'm gonna show y'all that I've done, but you can see all my videos and this my videos show you everything I've done. Let me look and see what y'all saying. You have a 15 needle machine. This is how it looks now. Just basically the um black is done. So now look y'all, we only got two more things and I'm gonna do this video because I don't know how long I've been on here. But I'll be talking my head off. My mouth even getting dry. <laughs> and I be just talking all fast, y'all. I'm sorry, it's a bad habit. I can't help myself. Um, so I'm going to use the gold, and then it's going to be another black. I guess that's a little thing in the middle. I don't know what that say. I can't see it. But I might not even do that stitch. Uh, HBU, I miss, it must say college or something. I can't see what that say. I don't know what that say. But it's just a, that's going to be the last thing. So this right here is seven minutes. So we'll be done with this um, patch in eight minutes, okay? So let me just go ahead and put it back on here on my little... Thing the jiggy. I'm excited, y'all. Y'all made my day. That I'm able to talk to y'all. I'm gonna just talk to. I'm just playing. 
<laughs> I got my son here. I'm trying to make jokes. I'm not lonely, y'all. I'm good. But it's so I'll be so happy to hear I'm to hear from y'all. <laughs> I'll be so happy to talk to y'all. And I'm glad y'all can talk back through text. So I just like to do stuff. You know, I love this. And, um, my son would say hi. He just ran. His face was there. They say seen you already, Shane. You can come and say hi. Uh -huh. You heard say hi. Hi. You see, you know, the camera was on his face. So y'all seen him, didn't y'all? Peep it in here, see what I'm doing. Okay, um, I'm just threading my chain. I'm sorry y'all can't see it, but like I said, I have videos on here. It's, it's like, it's like if y'all have a sewing machine, it's the same way it's, it's like threading a sewing machine, okay? So, I'm just going to hit a push. I already show y'all how to push the button. Push the, um, the uh, push down. Let me show y'all how to do this. Alright, you other about to be on the next video? Oh, my goodness. Charmaine, 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 you're messing up, honey. That's black again. I'm like, why don't I see the yellow coming out? I didn't change the thread. What did I just do? I don't know what I just did. I'm just talking to y'all. Maybe I changed black and put black on here. I think that's what I did. Y'all, why y'all ain't tell me? <laughs> okay, I'm about to take this black out and put gold on here. And now what I need to do is just I can show y'all how to go backwards. Um to start off where I left off that with the black because I wasn't supposed to be using black, I was supposed to be using gold. Every time I get on the computer on, on the live, I always do something crazy. So that's why I said I don't mind doing what lies with y'all because I don't if I mess up, y'all can see me mess up because everybody messed up, anybody perfect. And I hope y'all wish y'all I mean I hope that y'all look at my mistakes and won't do the same thing when y'all ready to do y'all craft. Like put the same color thread that you just took off back on the machine. Because you're talking and talking and talking and talking. Okay. Um, I'm just ready real quick because I don't want this video to be too long. And I know it's getting late. It's 7 o'clock here. So I know your time is different. I'm used to Ohio time. But I'm back. I've been here for two months now. Well, I've been here since um August. Arizona, Phoenix. And so much opportunities down here. Like I said, I'm right around California. I'm not that far from California, so I'm going to start my clothing line, get everything done, my clothing line done. I can go down there and get some stuff that I need cheaper than what I can. Instead of getting everything online, I can go right to California and pick it up. Okay, so I love that. And the ride is not too bad. So I went to California last weekend, and I had a wonderful time. Amazing time. And they have so much good food down there. Oh, my God. And let me tell y'all, let me show y'all a little bit of this so you can see how it looks like printing out and white off. It's really much. Look at that. That's so beautiful. Look at that bow. I love bow. You got it wrong. But, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Look at that. Look at that. That's so beautiful. Look at that. 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 Your own image and put it on the pads. Yes, you can. Fiber. Right there is uh, you go to fiber, they can do the pads for you. You can create your own pads and send them a PDF. You can create your own image, send them a PDF, and you know, what is it, PNG file. And they have to, um, they can do that for you. But just be careful with the um images. Like it's hard to do faces. Let me show you how this face. Kobe face is the best face I have. Well, I have um I have um, uh, LeBron face. I have a Kobe face. I have a couple of faces. So that was a lie. I'm sorry. I have a couple of faces on my Etsy page. Um, let me show y'all. Cause I don't have the the patches in my hand because I left them in Toledo or somebody took them or something. I don't know what happened to them. But let me show y'all my Etsy page so I can show y'all my patches. Uh, uh, uh. I might not be able to show y'all because Sam not signed in to Etsy. I told y'all be having so many problems. I was having problems with Etsy. So it's not on my computer. I'm not signing to my computer. Oh, let me see. I changed my password. Let me see. 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 Let me
charminggalboutique.com Charming Gal Boutique 2 on Etsy. You can see all the patches I have that I've made. And I'm going to show you this, this LeBron one I just showed you earlier in this video. Can y'all hear me with that machine going? See how detailed it is? So you want to make sure you don't get no patches. If you do design your own stuff, you don't want to get too much that's too too deep in details with the designs because the patching won't work. But you can tell that like, sometimes, I mean, it looks good. But if you get some stuff like if you try to get all the marks and all the stuff inside their face, it might not patch out right. But this right here is a good digitizer. Okay? Very, very good. Very, very clean. But you just gotta look out to, for some patches because sometimes you can't see the eyes. You can't see the nose. You know, it's just because it's thread. This is all it this don't look like thread, do it, y'all. It don't look like thread, but it is. It's all thread. Isn't that amazing? So um, it's like this. Your skin, they don't like thread. They like to me, it like it could be painted or something. That's all thread, and it's all done on a one needle machine. And basically, you can just basically iron it on, not on this, but on the jacket or a jean jacket or on your um, back of a jean jacket or whatever. I had a whole jean jacket I made for myself. I had the video on how to make a, a whole jacket full of, of patches. I got a video, okay? I'm getting tired. Hats and stuff, yeah. I still have 75 people watching. Can I get some more thumbs up, please, and thank you? Even though I have a commercial machine, I still have to get a single new. Okay, I heard somebody say, and that's the truth. People was like, oh, somebody just said, just because they got a commercial machine, they still have a, um, a one needle machine. So people was like, well, you got a big machine. You got you got a 10 needle and you got a 6 needle. You gonna get rid of your one needle machines? No, because I love my, needle mach my one needle machine because that's why I do my practice. I probably did patches one time on that big machine because it's kind of intimidating. Like, I'm so used to these women one needle machines, even though they be like, why you want to just change? Why you always want to change thread? Ain't that time consuming? No, I, I mean, it could be, but I'd rather go for what I'm used to than try to figure out this big machine. Just like my, in my, um, my big sublimation machine. I don't never use this thing either. Cause I'm so used to using my Epson, my um, Epson, the little small one, the one that's really it was um basically turn um, I basically trans what was the word? <laughs> I can't think. I basically um, uh, the word is it? I basically transfer. Uh, it's not the word I'm looking for, but I transformed it, but it's not the word I'm looking for. Over to a sublimation. <laughs> I can't think of the word. So um, it's, that was a regular machine. That's a regular inkjet printer. And I, ch I changed it over to a, um, a sublimation printer, okay? And that was only $100. Now they like $500. Nothing. They, they sold out of those, so they don't even make them no more. So they're making everybody make buy the big machines, but they want y'all to spend your money. So I'm so glad I got that on sale. And there was a Best Buy or Big or Best Buy for like $100. Then they went up to like $300. Then they went up to $600. And now they um, don't sell them no more, okay? But I don't never use this machine because it's... It's so much easier just to do the, the one I'm used to. And that's just a waste of money. I'm not gonna say it's a waste of money because I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it again one day. <laughs> but I don't use it, y'all. I don't use it. And I'm not selling it. And it's like I'm not gonna sell my one needle because I got two big machines because I'd rather use my one needle machine because I'm used to it and I just do. Um, convert it. Thank you. Thank you for being my vocabulary. <laughs> Oh my God, I feel horrible today. I'm just not on it. It's been four months and my, my vocabulary, my words, my thinking, my thoughts is all out the window. Like, y'all gotta tell me, Charmaine, you can't be going that long no more. You messing up, girl. I really know my stuff, y'all, but it's been a minute. I've been doing this since COVID. I'm forgetting everything, my brain. Look at that, y'all. Ain't that pretty? That is beautiful. Just seeing how the um, package Convert. <laughs> no, just see how the patches come out, and just look how they look from thread, y'all, from blank piece of fabric to all that. Beautiful. It's almost done. Now, I really don't have to do nothing else with this patch. I can't read with this. I'm gonna go ahead and let, I'm gonna go ahead and do the last patch. So I can't see what it says. HBCU. Can y'all see what that say? Y'all can't see what that say. Can y'all? No. HBCU. I can't see it. But I'm going to go ahead and print it out and see what I can see what it says. 
because I really don't even use that. I think when I got it, um, when I got it digitized, I didn't want that in there, but she put it in there anyway. So I don't have to even put that on there. I could be done with the patch right now. And I think I will be done with it because I can't see what that, what it say. I'm just curious now. And my eyes is not showing me the next show. And I think even if I do put it, it's, it's probably going to be blurry. The way it's looking, it's going to be, it might not even be legible. So I'm not going to do that part. So we done. And this is what I would sell. I wouldn't even, whatever that say, I don't know what that say. Whatever it says, I, I probably, I mean, I just like it like this. So I just basically just use it like that. And I can cut this out for y'all so I can see how it look when it's done. And check out my TikTok videos, y'all. I've been on a roll lately because, yes, I am a foodie. And I'm a craft. You know, the things I love best, if y'all know me by now, the things I love is crafting. I love, I love to hear the saxophonist play the saxophone. And I love the water, the beach. I know how to swim, but I love it. And I, um, what was I about to say? Crafting, the saxophonist, beach, and food, y'all. Food. I love eating. So I just moved down here to Arizona, me and my son, and I love to eat. And we just been going places, just eating, just eating, eating. So, um, <laughs> so basically I, um, I got on my, on my TikTok and on my, um, no, not my, my, not my Snapchat, but check me out on my TikTok. Go to Miss, is it Charming Gal? On my TikTok, my link is below. I've been doing a lot of different food, a lot of different restaurants. So when y'all ever come down here to visit Arizona, y'all can know where to go. So check that out. I do also have little TikTok videos on how to craft. A lot of them. Oh, and I appreciate y'all. I have over 1,000, 100,000, not subscribers, but I have a, whole, a lot of people y'all viewing my videos. So please subscribe to my TikTok. I appreciate that. And just check out my little videos. I just I just been on the road. California, I, I did some videos in California over the food that I ate there, the restaurants I went there. So check that out, y'all. I love TikTok. It's so cute because you can just do these little tiny videos and it, it can show up so much of what, what it is. Like that food. Oh, my God. And I, even down here, I went to this African restaurant and it was the bomb. So check that out so you can see the food that I've eaten. There's going to be a lot of more videos on crafting on my TikTok and it's all going to be a lot of videos on food because I love food. Okay, so I'm just basically going to cut this out. What I do, I cut it from the back. Because you can see it better, so I just cut around the thread. Don't cut too close to the thread because um, it will um, make the fabric, um, it will loosen the fabric. This is the stabilizer, and yes, I always use, um, y'all talking, y'all y'all doing a lot of, um, I can see the words moving, but I can't see anything yet, so I'm going to go back and see what y'all say in a minute. But this is the stabilizer. This is the um, cutaway. I use cutaway because cutaway is thick. No, you cut away. Because they do have some that's tear away, and they do have some that's cut away. See how hard it is to tear this? Tear away is, is, tear away is for um, different things, but you use cut away for um, patches, okay? So you want something that's going to be stable. It's a stabilizer, so you want it to be stable so it won't mess up because you do wash your patches when you wash your clothes. So most people, they go back and forth about using either tear away or um, cut away stabilizer when you're doing shirts and hoodies and stuff. I do both. I use both and they both work. So they say if you use tear away, the tear away stabilizer won't, won't have your stuff stabilized enough and it might uh, shred or um, the thread might loosen when you wash your clothes. But I use I use both. So it just depends on what I'm using. Hoodies, for sure I use tear away because they're thick, of course. So when you go and put some thread in some hoodies, you're going to be good. So I use cutaway. But if you're using them thin shirts, you want to use um, cutaway. So it can be a thicker stabilizer to, to you know make sure it stays strong. Keep the thread together. Okay, I'm just cutting y'all. I'm not even in the camera. I got these big old scissors. I have these small scissors. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. See, so I get around the little crevices of the patch. So like I said, I'm gonna start doing more patches because I lost my whole bag of patches that, that I have already. But if y'all wanna see my patches that I've done, check out my old videos. But all of my videos, it says embroidery on it. Basically, I can, I'll be showing you the patches that I've made since COVID. And it's like over 50 of them. And they're just so nice. And if you want to just check my video, my um YouTube, my Etsy page, you can see all the patches that I sell on Etsy. I'm going through, I'm doing a lot of orders right now. The ones I just showed you that Kobe, those are all on my page that I'm selling. I have to ship them out tomorrow. So the only thing I got to do tonight is basically heat them up. And since it's so hot in this room, because it's 80 degrees here, I'm just going to use my little... um. Easy press, my Cricut Easy Press. Who has the Easy Press, y'all? Those things come in handy. Instead of putting this old hot old heat press on, that thing is hot. And that's the Recoma heating press. It's hot. And it's a slide away. I love the slide drawer, so it slides. 
but I have two. I gave my daughter one of my heat presses, and I kept. And I got another one. I got a, this this um that I have. So I have my Cricut machines down here. I have my sewing machines down here. So let me know what y'all and DTF machine. Like I said, but my heater is not working, so I'm gonna do. I might do that heck tomorrow. Um, I had to get them to um. My my DTF. I don't know why these scissors. Do I gotta get some more scissors? I'm trying to cut this thread. I don't know why I'm being perfect. Like I sell it. I'm just taking up wasting time, y'all. So this is the patch. HBCU patch. And when you do say you want to get like a patch, um, digitized, make sure you tell them that you want it to be a patch because patches usually come with a a border. Um, it's not that that's not the right word. It's a, not a satin stitch, but it's a stitch they put around the patch so it would look like a patch. Like, for instance, this patch right here, this is a Kobe patch. Um, if I wouldn't have had this border around here, then this patch would, you have, you can't, you, let me show you, you can see it better from this white part. You can't cut this because it's going gonna, it's gonna to mess up. So you want to be able to cut around it. So that's why I put this border around here because if not, if I cut this out, then it would look tacky. You know what I'm saying? If you cut this out right here, just that part right here. But everything else would be a smooth cut. Well, not right here either. But everything else would be a smooth cut. But that's why I put a border around here. So when they patch it on something, you can see the whole thing. And black on black is cool because you can better see it. So this right here, too, this is a different kind of patch. Like this right here, you can't cut in between this. So you had to make it, you got to cut it to make it look nice. So it can, um, because you can't, you can't cut through here. You can't cut this black out. You can't cut this black out. Okay? So it's, just make sure... It's this right here, this border right here you see. Make sure they put this on here. And the name of this is not a stat, it's not a satin stitch. It's just a um I can't think of they'll tell me in a minute what it's called. But you have to have that um you have to have this border for patches, or it's not gonna be a patch. Because most people say, Okay, I want you to um this you might say, Okay, I want you to digitize this. But they need to know if you want it to be a patch. You can just digitize stuff to put on clothes, like they don't I mean that you just want to digitize on shirts and don't have to be a patch, but you have to have a border. You have to have a um them make sure they, they stitch it around so it can be able to you can cut it. Because if you don't have a um a border around here, you won't be able to cut it, it won't look right. Okay. Hope you understand what I'm saying. So when y'all get a digitize, just let them know that you want this to be a patch and not just a simple digitizing um image. Okay. Thank you for sharing my leaks. That's my TikTok. Yes, please go on my TikTok and um like uh subscribe to my TikTok channel. I mean I'll now hit you back. I'll subscribe to yours back. Like my, my channel because I'm doing a lot of different stuff. I did three TikTok videos today. Okay. So just I'm on one. Okay. I'm on one. I love doing TikToks. It's like an outline. Yes, yeah, so, um outline border. It's so fun to do. I love watching TikTok. Who watched TikTok on here? Like it's addictive. Um Okay, y'all, that's it. That's it. Let y'all got anything else to say? If y'all want to ask me anything before I get out of here, I, I said I'm going to try to come on here tomorrow, which is Monday. If I don't come on here tomorrow, for sure, I'm going to be coming on here every Monday. And Sundays are not too bad. What y'all think about Sundays? Because I don't be doing nothing on Sundays, really, either. I go to church and I come home and cook. So, which y'all rather prefer me to do, either a Sunday or a Monday? Tomorrow, Monday. Wait. Yeah, Sunday or Monday. Tell me which one y'all prefer me to do videos. And it'd be afternoon. Like, Sundays, I like to do stuff on Sundays. Like, try to go to the mountains or stuff like that. But, um, which days do y'all prefer? Sundays? I know a lot of people go to work on Mondays. And they be, you getting home or whatever. Y'all, y'all saying Sundays. Really? But Sundays would be cool for me, too, because I don't have to work on Monday. So, everybody's saying Sunday. Okay. Okay. We're going to see. I'm gonna try to do more Sundays, but um, if I have some plans to do, if I have some plans on Sundays, which like I say, I like to do stuff with my son on the weekend, cause I work on Saturdays, so it's like um, uh, if I can't do it on Sundays, I'm definitely gonna do it on Mondays. But I can start trying to do some Monday stuff, Sunday stuff with my me and my son. Don't have anything planned? So, what's the name of the machine? Do you have which one, Angela? Which machine? The embroidery machine or the DF, DTF machine? The sublimation machine? I have all the machines. Which one are you talking about? Do you have a video on enlarging images? What you mean, enlarging images? What machine are you talking about as far as enlarging images? Enlarging Im Im images, Char. So y'all like Sunday, okay. I'm going to try to do Sundays. And I'll just figure it out. 
Let's see. I'm just trying to. I'm just going through to see what y'all saying before I. She, okay, so Miss Parker said, "Do I still have the surgery?" Yes, and the surgery. People say it's the surgery is so hard to use, and I've been having a good experience with the surgery. So I just hope I don't have no bad experience now that I've. Uh, but it's a surgery. I love it. I've got a video on showing you how to um, basically make children clothes. I made some girl. Um, uh, I've made some leggings. I made some skirts. All of my surgery. So I love the surgery. So yes, I do have my surgery. I have my sewing machines. I have. Yeah, I do have those. Thank you. She said, I just followed you on TikTok. Thank you for following me on TikTok. Um, she says, Charming Gal Boutique. I mean, Charming Gal on um, TikTok. But my link is below. So you can just click on the link below. You, We're just happy you back. Thank you, Fabulous. I'm glad to be back. And I'm glad y'all miss me because I miss y'all too. It's just, I, I just get so happy when I get on here and just start, you know, talking and showing things that I know. You know, if you want me to tell you anything, just let me, just ask me and I'll let you know what I know. Because I love doing what I do. The embroidery machine you just use. Okay, that one right there is called a Novus. And it's a Brothers. So just look up Brothers. Um, um, let me show y'all. And she was just here to, um, how you spell that? Anovis Brothers. And then it has the um, NQ1600E. Okay, and I got this from Ohio, Toledo. It was like a little sewing machine store. We had, and I bought this heavy. It's a real heavy machine. And this is the Brothers um, PE800. This one only goes with the 5 by 7 hoop, which is still a good machine. But if you want to do bigger things, um, this goes to a six by ten hoop, so it's, it's a little bit bigger. The hoop is bigger. Let me show you how the hoop again. Oh, that's how big the hoop is. Let's see how big it is. Let me put it on the table. So that's how big the hoop is. All right, this is my DTF powder. I just had it in the machine, this little container. And I also do. Um, I yeah, remember I always used. To, I used to do the bling um, glasses. I want to start doing those again too because I used to sell out of those um, bling glasses when I was in Ohio. But then I just got, I went to this vendor's table here in Arizona and I was telling them the things that I made. And it was like, we don't have nobody to make that stuff. Like my tumblers and I got my little, I got a little office. I work for the state now. I got my own office. So I want to make my own mouse pad. I'm going to design me a mouse pad. And I've been procrastinating on how to do that too. This is sublimation, so I was going to make some mouse pads because I know once people see mines, when they see mines on my desk, they're going to be like, who did that? I'm like, me, I did it. So I'm just being procrastinating because I couldn't be making some money because nobody has no personalized stuff on their desk. So I can make, um, and then down here it's so hot, so everybody's drinking water. So I can do my tumbler to match my, um, my uh mouse pad but i haven't had the time to do it because i've been procrastinating so that's gonna be a video i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be doing some more patches because i'm gonna be looking on amazon for some more images to make because i was looking for some more somebody asked me for a michael jordan patch i was trying to find the image like that so i'm gonna just find that so i can stitch that out um there's so many things i can do but i just have not done what is the name of the dtf machine you have it's called pro color and it does do large prints and the link is below so you can click on that link below and it can show you different things they have down there in at pro color um and the one i have is the 24 inch wide it prints it prints big enough for a 3x shirt okay so definitely um pro color has the the machines i've got and they are from china they are in china but they do um skype and they're really good. They are really good. I I call them and they get on my computer or whatever. They go on my computer and they just do whatever they got to do to show me what I need to do to fix my machine. I can't believe I can't remember. They ain't going to. Uh, I changed my password on Etsy. And I can't get in my Etsy page on my computer, but I changed the password and I forgot what it was. I'll be changing so many passwords. I forget. So I was going to show you all my Etsy page. Um... I'm thinking about buying a DTF this week. Okay, yes, check out that um simply simply being our um check out my the um the link below because you can get a discount. 
Um, I love the machine I have. I haven't had no problems with it. The, the problems I had with it, it was my fault. Um, I basically blew the fuse. That was my fault. And then the right now, it's, the ink is, um, it was, what happened? It's something I did. So they just went on the machine and they fixed it themselves. Because I've been letting it sit for so long. You can't let a DTF, this one thing about a DTF machine, you, can let it, you can't let it sit for a long period of time. Because if you do, the ink is, um, you got to keep on doing these hair prints. Okay, so that's the only thing it is with them machines is kind of the, um, Keeping it up and running is the only thing. But if you don't use it, just you don't got to use it. I mean, you don't got to make some. You ain't got to make a complete project. Just make sure you run that machine. Just do a hair cleaning every day on it, and you'll be good. I really like the machine. Any other questions, y'all? Did do all that since you were in Arizona? Make that? Yes, honey. Oh, I was trying to tell y'all about the um. Yeah. So I went to this um. This, this table, they had a vendor's table set up, and I'm going to be there next, well, probably next month, because I didn't go this month. So they're telling me, they got, I was seeing what they had going on, and the stuff that I have now, pers I personalize stuff. I personalize whatever you want from your from your t-shirts, from your t tumblers, from your mouse pads, whatever. It's on my Etsy page. So they don't have that stuff down here, so I'm like, well, I haven't seen this yet at a vendor's table, so that really, I know I'm a boom down here, so I can't wait to get my table set up. I got that stuff that I brought from Ohio that I already did, that I already had made up, like, so I just got to put it on the table and sell it, and I can see what they like, and I can start making more stuff, so I'm in, I can't wait till that happens. It said DTF link is what that is supposed to say. It says Pro Color. It says Pro Color on, on, under my, um, let me show y'all. Sorry, I know y'all look at my face. I'm trying to see. I'm going to show y'all my little stuff on my computer. On my YouTube channel. That's me right there. Ew. So basically, you just basically go to under here. And my Etsy shop is right here. Click on that. My, my I also have a children's store on Etsy where I... Um, I make all my children clothes. And then here's my TikTok, Charming Gal. And you said you're looking for the DTF machine. Right here, yeah, DTF printer right here. Can y'all see that? Yeah, it's kind of hard. It's called ProColor.com. And you just click on that link right there and, the ref and then use the referral code is right there. I'm sorry, I can, there it is. I can't, but you just look under this video, it's right under the video, okay? And then you um, you order, you get over, over $2,000, you can get a discount. But that I think that two thousand dollars is for the printer and the heater, and the um the film and the powder. Okay. Okay, y'all. It's getting late. What time is it there? Seven. It's probably about ten o'clock y'all time. My clock. I'm seven o'clock here, so it's still early for me, y'all. I could talk all night, but I know y'all gotta go. Any other questions? What time is it with you at Fabulosis? Who else is on my time? I know nobody probably on my time. Well, depends on where you at. Who else is at seven? I'm seven thirty here. I gotta get used to this because I'm used to Ohio time. Oh, it's nine, so we're only two hours apart. Two hours difference. I'm sorry, two hours apart. I'm getting tired. Oh, it's nine. Okay, but everybody's like two hours. Yeah, everybody about two hours difference. Mm mm mm. You said in Toledo, Ohio, I was three hours different, so. Who, Cynthia, where you at? You must be in, in the Midwest. Yeah, a lot of people might in the Midwest. That 10th hour, that 10th hour, that's three hours. Miami, is it 10th in Miami? Oh, yeah, because Miami do have the same time as, um, yeah, that's the Midwest. Okay, um. Still have, I still have my bike, yes, GG, but I'm about to sell it. Because, man, these people down here in, in Arizona, they drive crazy. I done seen, like, thousands of accidents since I've been down here. And it's, like, traumatizing me. <laughs> I am not about to keep my bring my bike down here. So, um, yeah, I'm about to sell it. Oh, Cleveland in the house. Okay, Ohio. Oh, she said she, she lived in the Cleveland area. Tennessee is three hours, too? Hmm, didn't know that. Three hours different from Tennessee. Yeah, I'm selling. Oh, Atlanta. Yes, this is the same time. Three hours too. Um. Um. Yeah, I'm selling my bike. I have a three wheeler. I got a Harley. I just bought it for my birthday last year. I only had it for. Did I buy it for my birthday? Was that a whole year? Yeah, I had it for. 
Dang, if that thing that that time went by quick. Dog, did I bite? No, it had to be this year. I'm tripping. I was about to bite this year. Oh no, I wasn't even sleep on my birthday. <laughs> I'm tripping. I bought it last year on my birthday. Was it? Yeah, I had to. Dang, it's been a whole year. I'm tripping. I don't remember when I bought the bike, but it wasn't a whole year. I done had it for a couple months. My brain is really fried today, y'all. I am tripping. But I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I only bought it because I had people I was riding with. I was riding my husband. I was riding my friends. And now I'm in Arizona. I don't know nobody down here that rides bikes. And then if I do have to meet up with them, they might live in another city somewhere, which is like 45 minutes away or 20 minutes away. And I'm not about to drive by myself to go meet you. And I got to come back home by myself. The way they drive down here, nobody. I would never drive a, ride a bike down here. Sorry for the people that live down here. Yeah, time do be moving fast. Like, I've been down here since August. And it seems like I just, I just got here yesterday. So, yeah, the time, the days be going by quick. The time is so, I'm telling you, it's about to be New Year's. A couple more months. It's about to be Thanksgiving, Christmas. Whew, the year's almost over, y'all. What y'all got planned for 2024? Okay, see, okay, Rhonda's saying, if you do not have a sublimation printer and you want to do tumblers, how can you do that with a, tum with a tumbler wrap? The tumbler wrap is for the sublimation. You only can do, you can put vinyl on tumblers, but that's just words. Like, But if you want to put a whole full picture on a tumbler, you can do DTF on tumblers too. I have never done DTF. But I know somebody that does. It is on YouTube. You check YouTube and you can say DTF on a Tumblr. Um, sublimation on a Tumblr. And you can do let's say, epoxy on a Tumblr. And I'm trying to picture how tox epoxy was again. How the heck they do epoxy again? See my brain. I have a video on the epoxy video. I just can't remember how, how that works. Epoxy is when you... Yeah, whatever. I'm not about to stretch my brain that hard to even think about it. But I have a video on it. I told you I do so much stuff. I forget even how the stuff is done. I got to sometimes do something. If I get an order, I got to go back and look at my video to see how I did it. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Because I do so much. But let me show y'all why we on the video I was showing y'all earlier. This is a, um this is DTF. And I know people um um have DTF machines that they can put DTF on. I, I designed this myself, y'all. So if y'all do have a DTF machine or if y'all don't have a DTF machine, I have so many different um images that I designed myself. This is my my image. I did get the images from somewhere else, but I designed, I put her together. I put her together. So I have Mary J. Blige, I have Michael Jordan, I have uh, Beyonce. I did the Beyonce concert a couple months ago and it was fire. So I got her image. I got her DTF. Um, so if you don't have a DTF machine or a printer, you can buy these from me, and all you gotta do is basically I ship these to you already ready, and all you need to do is um have either a heat press or iron, and you can iron it on your shirt, hoodie, or whatever you want to iron it on. So you can set, I can sell these to you. You put it on the shirt, you iron it on there, and you're good to go. Okay. So if you don't understand how to do DTF, go look at my other videos of how to do DTF, and you can um and you can see that, or you can just see how I put the image on my shirt. So if I if you do buy one from me, you'll know how to um put it on your shirt or hoodie, whatever you want to put it on bags or whatever. But yes, you can do tumblers with um DTF. She said somebody said DTF can come off the tumblers easily. I have no clue. I just know somebody on YouTube have done DTF. I've never done DTF on tumblers before. Um, it's another printer that I have. It's a, oh, I was about to say, I forgot the name of it. But I have another printer I got that I can't use because it's still in Ohio. It's called a white tone printer. So you can do tumblers on a white tone printer too. I got that from Macoma. So I got my, my tinnito from Macoma. I got my heat press from Macoma. And I also got a um, ink white, it's an ink, a white ink printer, which is, is that what it's called? A white ink printer? White tone printer? I never used it, y'all. So as soon as I got it, I moved, and um, I don't have it right now. So I still haven't even did my trainings on that machine, and it's so crazy because like, why? I got to get this stuff down here as soon as possible because I need to use my stuff. But um, I heard it's easier to use a DTF because you don't have to worry about the maintenance. DTF, you got to make sure you using that machine daily, or the ink can get clogged up. But the but the white tone, you don't have to worry about it because it's. it's you don't have to worry about it because the it's, it's a white tone printer, so you don't have to worry about the the ink getting clogged up, and you don't have to run that thing every day. So it's, it's low on maintenance. But I heard that when it prints out, it doesn't really print as good as DTF does. So 
it's a lot of videos on those too so you can just take it look at those videos and see which one you prefer okay i could be on here all night y'all so i could talk on my no i gotta work tomorrow so i'm good but i'm not gonna be on here all night though <laughs> I love talking to y'all. I'm like, this girl ain't got nothing else to do. Yeah, I do. I'm hungry. I need to get something to eat, but it's this restaurant down the street, too. And it's a Mexican restaurant, and I'll be riding past it all the time, and they be jumping. And so I, and they, be open, they be open late. It's only 7.30 here, so I know it's going to be probably, this where I'm probably going to get something to eat tonight because I'm hungry. And I was supposed to go to the mountains today, but I didn't. What did it say? Simply being R. Let me see. I can't see. Etsy trademark and infringement yes 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 we'll ban yes so be careful y'all when y'all on etsy because i almost been banned too because i kobe face they tried to ban me but it's mm, i'm gonna say what i'm about to say but yeah be careful when you sit on Etsy because they will ban you Etsy, etsy they will ban you for using people to, but um like kobe bryant they don't want you to sell the kobe bryant stuff so um just be careful. You know, it's the way you word things because people, everybody's doing it. Everybody's making their own designs. Everybody's create like painting Kobe's face, or it don't even have to be Kobe. It can be anybody. Um, but they really be on Kobe about it hard. So just, um, I'm not trying to say we're taking people things or we're not trying to do anything bad. But people like to, um, we can't really. For me, patches. People is not selling patches. I mean, people want this. People, we can't get it nowhere else. We can't get patches nowhere else. So it's like, what's, what can you do? So we want to keep his name alive. So we use this patch. I mean, use this image and we patch it out. So it's not saying that the image is, I bought this. You know, so I bought the image. So it's not like I'm stealing from somebody or whatever. But it's just because it's, it's, it's his face. And you're not supposed to do that. But we want his memory to stay alive. He really want to wear his stuff. So nobody else is selling patches. I mean, you know what I'm saying, of him. So we have to. But please be careful. I mean, but they doing everybody, you know, Mickey Mouse and all that stuff. You ain't supposed to do, but you do it because you want your kids to be, you know, you want you want Mickey Mouse. Anywho, that's a whole different story, y'all. Yes, be careful when it comes to different logos and infringement and uh, copyright and all that stuff. Yeah, they yeah the white toner printer is very easy because there's no maintenance to it. I never use mine, and I spend good money on that stuff because they didn't give me that stuff uh that stuff was not given to me i could my friend was like with somebody on who's on here that i get the girl nine right now <laughs> she's like why you buy that they could they just send it to you many subscribers you they send it to you but um i missed out on that they emailed me on the wrong email and i couldn't it was just a mess so i had to pay for all that stuff so yeah yeah and i'm not using it hmm, go figure so i gotta get it back down here so i can start using it y'all my cousins live in Phoenix, never been there. It's beautiful down here. The weather is always nice. The food is nice. The vibe is cool. And it's so much, it's always something to do. Mountains, horseback riding. I'm going to horseback riding soon. Mountains, there's all kind of lakes down here. You can go uh, uh, rafting. I've been being rafting, going on boats. I was on a boat the other day. And just so many beautiful parks and areas you can just walk and just enjoy the weather. So it's nice. You said, I don't want to be in that direction. And I was scared, too. I was like, I'm not, I am not. don't want to live in no desert. That's the first thing I think. That's why I, I was going to move out. I was going to move to Florida last year. But I don't, and I want to be around the water. But Florida is expensive. It is. Arizona is expensive, too. But I know people that live in Arizona. There's a lot of people I know that live in Arizona. So it's cool because I know people. But in Florida, I didn't know nobody. So I would rather live somewhere with the beach. I can go to the beach every day. But now I only can go to the beach, go to California a couple hours away. I, it's a beach here in Arizona. They have like these man-made beaches at in resorts down here, which I didn't know, and it's really cute. Like little palm trees and little uh, uh, beaches, man-made beaches here. So that's cool. If I want to go to the beach here, I can just go to a resort and go. But whatever. I don't be really get in the water. I just want to walk on the sand and just look at the water. So <laughs> it's funny. I don't swim. Time for me to leave Detroit. I hate the weather. Yes, girl, Gigi. That's why I left Toledo. That weather was for the birds. Like, it's cold, the snow. I hate this. I'm a summer baby. My birthday is June 21st. I was born on the first day of summer. And all my life that I can remember is I hate the winter. I hate being cold. And this is going to be so lovely to be here in Arizona with no snow and no winter. Like, 
my, my son just went swimming at my friend's house in their backyard in the pool, and it's November. He's like, Ma, it's November. We get in the pool, and it's 80 degrees. He loves it here, and I do too. You got it. Anything else, y'all? I'm talking about doing. Let's see. I'm talking about doing other images and other logos. Like I don't want to go to. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about you to come to Arizona. <laughs> so you said you thinking about doing some logos like Nike. Oh yeah, you can't sell Nike on, on uh, Etsy. Mm -mm. I do Nike stuff because what I do for me and my son. Like my son go to school. He be like, Mom, can you make me Nike shirt? Sure, honey. I mean, buying no. I ain't gotta buy no forty dollars shirt hoodie, but I can make it for myself. So yeah, I don't sell Nike stuff. Cause of course they'll. I get in trouble for that on Etsy. You can have your own. You can have your own website and sell whatever you want. You can't get in trouble. But Etsy, yes, you will get in trouble for it. But I make my son's Nike stuff. He won. He wanted um a Gucci shirt. I made him a Gucci shirt. I sublimated him a Gucci shirt. He was in love. He was like everybody think I'm rich, <laughs> but you're not. <laughs> Thank you. I was wondering who that was. Thank you for blocking whoever that was. I was wondering, like, what in the world? Yeah, block that person. I can't do it. I don't know how to do that. My mentor. I guess they, if y'all go on, Dimps and um, Fabulous. Oh, okay. Alrighty, my youngest child birthdays. Yep, my birthday June twenty first. Okay, what do you? Let me see why did you move there? I just need. She said why I moved from Ohio. I just needed to get away. One of the new scenery, and I was tired of Ohio. I always said that to my daycare, I was gonna leave, and my daycare was going down from since COVID. My daycare wasn't. I wasn't able to find. I was able to find workers, and I wasn't really making enough money to afford the building because the building was huge, can house over eighty kids, and parents wasn't working and stuff like that. So I said it's time for me to go, and I chose Arizona because my brother stayed down here. I knew a lot of people that stayed down here also, so it was good transition state for me. Thank you, Gigi. Anything else, y'all? This is a patch we just made today. HBCU patch is something easy because I just wanted to show y'all the embroidery. If y'all haven't seen the embroidery machine, I'm going to I'm gonna get off this live and so I can go ahead and heat these patches up because I need to ship these out tomorrow. These are the patches I made. I got some more I got to make too. So I just got to put heat and bond. I use heat and bond to put on the back of the shirt, on the back of the patches. But I won't be doing that on the video today because I need to get this done. It's kind of um late. I know y'all got to probably go to work in the morning. I don't. I'm off tomorrow. So I'm going to finish this stuff up tonight. And. Hey, Charmaine. Hey, creating with Tuck. You just not getting on here? Good for you. Take care. Maybe. See y'all later. Oh, I love when you make patches. Thank you, Fabulous. Y'all like making them. I love it. Like, um, <clears throat> oh, somebody was act clowning. Fabulous. She said, what happened? Was somebody, I, she stepped away. Somebody was clowning, but they took, somebody took care of it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I love making patches. It's so, I mean, like I said, it's, you could do so much. You could be patching, making patches wise. You don't have to worry about sometimes the thread might break, sometimes the um the needle might break, but you can go away and do other things like you can be making patches, doing DTF, let the machine run. And people are like, oh, that's so easy. You could just get a embroidery machine and push the button and it goes. Yes, it does go, but you still gotta make sure you got everything correct. You gotta get the stabilizer, you gotta make sure the machine is right and everything is cool. But it is an easy thing to do. But some people get frustrated with it because I don't know why people get frustrated with sublimation i mean with um embroidery with the one of the machines i can i cannot see why people get frustrated but with that machine over here let me show you it can get frustrated because the way you got to thread this thing look, just look at this i haven't threaded yet since i've been here so it's looking a mess because i haven't threaded but you got to make sure this thread is in here if you got long nails it ain't gonna work for you, you gotta make sure you know which way the thread is going loop de loop de loop 
You gotta make sure it's coming through here the right way. It's gotta be, it's gotta be threaded the correct way or it would not work. So that's the reason why I'm scared to come over here to this machine. My thing was, I was supposed to uh, see how the thread goes and see the thread is missing right here. So I was supposed to have a day, not, it don't take you a whole day to do it, but it just got, it's time consuming and it's got to be right. And so you want to make sure, now I got, I got to make sure I thread this. This is not supposed to be hanging like this. I got to put it, loop the loop the loop it. I got to do all that, right? So I haven't had the patience <laughs> to do that yet. But I really need to get this going so I can start using my machines because I paid for them. <laughs> and it's just sitting there looking cute. So, yes, it does. It's like a little, it's a little tempting. It's a little scary to, to get people to sell these. Like, especially when you get older, women, when they hit your hands, get carpet toner or it's get hard to move your fingers. You got to learn how to move that thread in there or it's not going to work. So, the one needle machine is so much easier to, to, to maintenance and it's so easy. Because you don't got to worry about, you got six needles to worry about. You got one needle to worry about over there. Those are like sewing machines. That thing right there is like a factory. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. So, um, the, so yeah, it can be mm, scary. And right now, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm always scared. I'm always scared to use that machine. Because I'm just, you be thread, you be like, the stuff, you be threading away, right? And you be like, bop! I'm like, what the heck? You know what happens? We got to go and see why the thread uh, broke. Why did the needle broke? I'm like, uh. But after you get together, it's fun. I'm not trying to scare nobody. Oh, let me see. Southern University is having their homecoming last Saturday, and I did three shirts: one for me, one for my daughter. What you? How you do it with DTF? What you do it with the, um, the shirts? Embroidery, DTF, sublimation, Cricut. What you use? And all the machines I just showed, told you, I have videos on all those machines: DTF, Cricut, sewing machines, embroidery, sublimation. What I miss? That's it. I got all the machines and I have videos, hundreds of videos on how to do. So just check out my videos. Go back and binge watch them. I do tum I did tumblers, mugs. I got the tum Cricut mug press. The Cricut cup. Yeah, mug press. I love that. Oh, I love that machine. I also have the um tumbler press. I love that machine. Look at this. I'm looking at this right now. Look. I got a heat press, y'all. Never used it. But I bought it from Amazon. I never used it. So that's what I'm showing y'all right here. This is my heat press. I y'all see the beginning of my video. That's the one from um, Recoma. It's hot. That thing is hot. Um, and this is my um, tumbler press. And those are my embroidery machines. If y'all wasn't here from the beginning of the video. And my laptop. And then that's my, my embroidery machine. I mean my sublimation machine that I converted over to sublimation. Etsy. This is my real big, real sublimation machine. And that's the griddle that I'm going to be showing y'all how to do, um, how to do a hack on how to heat up your, um, I mean, to cure your DTF film. And that's just one I just showed y'all. This is my little room. And I have some more stuff out in my other, in my, in my other room. I got another small room on my other side of my house. Well, right out that door. But that's where my DTF machine is at. And this is my crickets I read. This is my sewing machine is at. And... That's it. Anything else, y'all? A lady just got her six figures. Her six figure shop shut down for what? The the logos and stuff? What'd she get shut down for? So y'all gotta be careful. Like I said, I almost got shut down. They warned me. But they warned you one time, then they warned you. So I had to take off a lot of stuff on my I had to take a lot of stuff off on my YouTube channel. I mean on my Etsy channel. Off my FC page, I had to take a lot of stuff because I didn't want to get shut down. FC is a really good. People always saying, "Would you? Would you rather get a you?" Calm down, slow down, Charmaine. Would you rather get a, a um a, a web page, a website, or would you use Etsy? Etsy all the way. You wonder why? Because people, if you people don't know you, even though I got a hundred thousand subscribers, a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube, and I got a whole lot of people on Facebook, people just won't go to my website but everybody goes to Etsy it's a good platform to sell your things because people go there and when you put in the um, search bar they're looking for it if you have that in your store they can find you that way but just if you've got if you got a store a uh, 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 website and you sell all this stuff people can't find you unless you just booming your stuff you just advertising your stuff on Facebook forever and ever and ever 
But you don't gotta advertise like that when you got a new uh, uh, Etsy page because people go to Etsy looking for something. And your page will pop up when they see if you got your stuff typed in good, categorized good, it will pop up and they, they can pick your stuff, your 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 images, your your um your items to buy. So that's why I love Etsy. I would never be able to get this, even though I mean I probably would get some sales because I got a lot of people on YouTube that follow me and they know if I can keep on saying, well my this is my YouTube, this is my website, go here, go here, they probably go. But still I, I, I bet you not as much as I do because I'm on Etsy. I'm on Etsy. So I hope I never get pushed off of Etsy. But it's cheaper. It's cheaper to have your own website. And if I ever do get punched, pushed off of Etsy because of whatever, I will have my own website because that's all. I'm, only way I can go is to another website. But it is cheaper to have your own website because if you buy your your um name for your website, your domain, and once you you can have you can have somebody design your website or you can just go to which I always go to um I can't I'm gonna think about the name in a minute it's a place you can go on you can go on on, on um the internet and it's, they they design your websites they design bags they do all that stuff um and I can't think of the name of it because my brain ain't been working all day and you pay monthly <clears throat> Not Shopify. Shopify, um, Shopify is good too, I think, and Wick is cool too, uh, WI, um, but Shopify, Shopify, I heard that was good, I never used Shopify, so I might have to go to Shopify, something happened, I'm, I'm not trying to say nothing going to happen to me on Etsy, but I'm just saying, um, how, do anybody use Shopify and how you like it, but I go to another one, I can't think of what it's called, y'all getting, people getting crazy on here at the dark, y'all, these YouTuber people, not Wix, uh, I used to buy um, pencils from there. I'm them, I used to buy all kinds of stuff from their site. Um, they ain't gonna shame. Not Square. Square is like that website, is it? I'll tell y'all in a minute what it is. Not Printfo. Printfo is cool. I got a website. I got a um, video on how to use print, Printfo. But that's like when you print stuff out. People, they, it's Printfo. Printfo. They have print stuff out for you. Like it's, a, it's an on demand. So check out my video for that too. Because if you want to make a lot of shirts and you don't have a design you don't have to have no machines in your house y'all you don't have to have no machines no embroidery no what well, and after they do embroidery but no dtf machines you can just go to printify i don't know if i'm saying it right Printifo, and you can just basically it's an on-demand um, business website so you can just say you can send them your image and then tell them what you want to print on whatever shirt you want they got all kinds of stuff you can print out they got all kind of merchandise you can select to put the image on and then they'll print it out to whoever you want to print it out to. To every whoever customer you want to go to, they'll print it out to. It's the on demand and oh my god, that would be so if you booming like that, like I love to make my own stuff. I'm a crafter, so I make my own stuff. But if I have a if I have some uh, like an order that I've got a lot of people that want like hundred some shirts, it's gonna be hard for me to do it by myself. So I just send it to Printify and they'll print it out for me. Fist the print. Thank you, Cynthia. Y'all be helping me. Y'all be on it because my brain is like foggy. I love Vista print, y'all. Before I did Etsy, I had Vista print for my daycare. I had for my businesses. And Vista print is the bomb because I didn't know how to design no dang on website. And if you, I'm not going to try to tell, you know, say, but a lot of people out here doing these designers, they be trying to design websites and it's very expensive. I'm not trying to cut nobody hustle out or anything like that, but it can be very expensive. So I was like, I can't afford to have nobody design my website. Because every time somebody design it, they got to come in there and change it. Every time, you know, web designer, they got to come in and change it when you want to put more stuff in there. You know, Vista Print, you tell them. Every time you hit, like, I can't, I don't know how to do this. I'll call them and they'll do it for me. I don't know if they're doing that now. I've been having Vista Print for like over 10 years. My daycare over for 17 years. So when I first opened my account in Vista Print, that was like over 10 years ago. Every every time I wanted something on my my um my my um website I know to do, I just called them. They was like, "Yes, can we help you? Like, can you show me how to do it? Cause I'm not doing. It. Oh, you're fine. We'll do it for you. Oh, thank you. And it's just a monthly fee, like seventeen dollars a month, which people might not want to pay for a website for a whole you know monthly, cause you can get a um web designer. You could probably pay it um well you probably still got pay it once a year, but you only got to pay on your domain. You pay for your name, so nobody just want to use your name. Then you just pay whatever you got to pay a month. Um, to keep that um, your website running for the for the year, or whatever. So, um, oh, you moved to you Wix. You like Wix? So you went from Spotify to Wix. 
and what's the difference between Wix, Spotify, and Etsy? I'm about to Google that because I love Etsy. I'm not going nowhere and they keep me out, but I'll Yeah. They done put me on a, a watch list. You know, they watch me. So I have some stuff on. Mm, let me stop. Okay. Let's, let's see what this y'all want to talk about. Square is not a website, though, is it? Square is when you scan in your car for your, your, your money. Square is not a website, is it? As far as you can you can put your um your um uh, your images and your um stuff you sell on there your your um products. I love I, I love Mr. Prince. Y'all is rocking with me, y'all. We've been on here for an hour and fifteen minutes. This video is about to be way too long. Oh, okay. I didn't know Square was a website. Y'all just like, taught me something. Hmm. Is it cheap? <laughs> is it like Etsy? See, I'm learning something. I don't know where everybody's learning something too, so good. If you, anybody, anybody else ever heard of Square being a website? I just thought it was like a little credit card reader. Oh, she said, Fabulosa said she likes Spotify for the apps you could add on. So you could add like different apps. Um, like I think she's talking about like Facebook and Tik or well, Facebook, probably um, other apps too, and they give you air after pay. Oh, okay, they have a hundred. Really? Who has a um have a hundred a one one k referral? Square is free. Oh y'all y'all gonna write this stuff down. I gotta do my research tonight. So you saying Square is a website? And, and how do people get to, is it like an Etsy page? Like you could people, more people is on that, in that platform? Or is it just like a, somebody you got to just tell people like, okay, I got a square website. Or is it a platform like Etsy? I'm going to write my notes, y'all. I have to add the passes. Hmm. What's after pay? After, after pay is when they can pay on stuff? Like a credit card? I heard of that. Square customer service is good, even shipping. Okay. So we can I'm getting taught some stuff. So she says Square customer service is good, even shipping. But is it like a platform or is it just a website? It gotta be. You said if you're shipping, it's got. Mm. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. So Rhonda, we learn. We both learning some stuff, huh? This is see, it's good to do a lot because I can talk to y'all. I can read the things people telling me, and you can learn what I'm learning because I didn't know nothing about none of this stuff. And it's always good to know what you have, you know, just in case you need to change over. Because Etsy is expensive, y'all. But I'm only, I'm only going to Etsy because I know people I know people are, will be there. They will get there. It's a good platform because they love, everybody know about Etsy. So some people, you know, don't know about these other pl platforms. But Etsy is really popular. So that makes, if it's, Etsy is popular, that means you're going to get some business if they, if somebody out there looking for what you got, that, that you design or that you sell. So, I love Etsy, but they take out certain, well, certain, they take out money off everything you sell. Every product you sell, you're taking out some change out of everything. A couple of, you know, like 20 cents, I think. And that is, and it's, I mean, I'm saying they take off the 20 cents just for having it on their website. You know what I'm saying? So, you put in, I put in a shirt on Etsy that I'm going to sell, and they charge me 20 cents. For that, for that shirt that I'm gonna be selling, and that's every image you have on your on your um on your Etsy page. And I'm not even sure. I need to really research, but I really do. I'm really paying no attention. But I don't know if they make you if they if they charge you for each. No, they don't charge you for each size. They just charge you per image. And it's other it's other it's other. I'm not gonna say percentage, but it's other money they taking out of their um Etsy account when you're selling things so it's some undercover cost in etsy so don't let me get y'all to running away from etsy because etsy is a good shop especially if you're starting off now if you, if you get big like i should have been gone but i i, I it's, i'm hard i'm gonna be itching like i got something it's um it's hard to change for me it's hard changing is hard change is hard so i don't like changing i'm already into Etsy, I got everything set up. I don't want to go nowhere and change it and have to put every, and upload everything. It's a booger. 
um, uploading things to different platforms. It's like, I'm already here, so I'm not moving unless I get kicked off. I don't want to get kicked off, so it's, I don't want to get kicked off. But it's just like, I'm not moving. So, yes, I have to pay these little fees, and I think the fees went up, but I'm not moving unless I get you know, something happen. So, I just, change is hard, and it's a lot of work. So, that's why I'm staying here. I, and I like Etsy. Etsy. I love shop on Etsy. I get my images from Etsy. I get um, a lot of things from Etsy. I get my blanks from Etsy, it's like my blank sublimation um, tumblers and stuff, and my, my mouse pads. My I do a lot of... Um, Sublimating, um, sublimating, um, <sighs> uh, what you use with passport covers. I use a lot of, I do a lot of those passport covers. I create them myself. So I got a lot of them. If you're going out of time, I mean, you go out the country, check out my passport covers. I get them from Etsy. So Etsy got a lot of stuff that I, that I shop, I shop on Etsy. And I also have an Amazon link down there. If you shop on Amazon, go to my Amazon link down there. You get a discount on Amazon links. And I also get a certain percentage of thing of um, certain percentage of, but it's no extra cost from you. But I, I appreciate y'all going to my Etsy page, my Amazon links, and all my little um, other links that I have down there that you can get discounts on your machines if you decide to purchase a machine from the company that I have a link down there for. So if your niece just opened her Etsy page, I mean. Let her go. Because let her. She's gonna do her thing because, like I said, it's a good starting platform to use to get started because people gonna know who she is and she get all her little um reviews and all that stuff and get all her little um stars. And then if she build up her customers, they think she can. Then she can say that she's going somewhere else. And I know people that do that too. Like people has like Etsy pages and they really blow up. And then on the, and then they close their Etsy shop. So when you close your when you take everything down as far as like. I don't know if they can do this, if this is okay to do, but I guess it is. I don't know if they get caught doing it, they might get in trouble. But um, they take all their images down because if you got an image on Etsy, it's 20 cents a piece for each image you trying to sell. So if you take all the images down, have your still have your uh, Etsy digital paper wallpaper on there saying this is your shop. But then they tell you to please go to www.charmainegalloway.com to buy your images. I don't think somebody that did that before. And I don't know if that's okay to do, but they do that. And they basically, all they her customers to know to go to that website to buy her stuff. And she ain't got to pay no 20 cents per image on Etsy because she's on her, it's everything's on her website. So I don't know if that's legal to do with Etsy, but it's been done. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I shop on Etsy all the time. But it can't get it. They taking your money. They take some. They taking money out of your stuff that you buy. And everybody taking something out of something when you own their stuff. They on their platform. So I don't know. Somebody said Square was free. But I know uh, Spotify charge, Wix charge, um, and even websites charge. But they just don't charge every item. They don't charge you every item that you put on your on this website. You gotta pay for the domain and you gotta pay monthly. But you got a monthly set fee. And all websites, you don't got to pay monthly. I think you can do one 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 set price a year, which is either a monthly or a year. But, yeah. I do not. I do. Yes. I, she said, somebody said, do I have your my clothing line on, on Etsy? Yes, I do. It's called um, Top Notch Status Clothing Line. It's on Etsy. And like I said, I'm here down here in Arizona. I'm about to start going to California and getting all my um my jogger suits and stuff. You know, they have clothing land <laughs> They have a lot of stuff down there. You can buy stuff uh, for uh, a wholesale price. And instead of me going to um, online, I can go to California and just look at everything and, and look at the material and make sure I like it. So and they have some. They have a lot of different stores down here in Arizona too. They have like a lot of um, wholesale stores down here. I'm used to being in Toledo, in Ohio, and not having nothing. I had to basically order everything online. They be like, "Did you get in? The, and did you get in the mail?" I'm like, "What the heck is this? What I buy? This stuff is cheap. This stuff is not what I like." So now I can be able to feel the. T I can just, I can feel my merchandise, my my items and stuff before I buy them. I love that. Okay, she said Square charges, but they give you 1K as a referral. Okay. Do you have TikTok shops? People have been saying, I was, that's funny you say that because people have been saying they've really been really um, expanding on their Etsy page through TikTok. So they really get more sales on TikTok and I'm learning. I'm still learning how to do TikTok. I know how to do the videos, 
but I just don't know how people are getting on there and, 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 and boosting their business. I know the videos are showing you how they, they're showing you your, your, your stuff, but I was just on Angela Page. Um, I can't think of her last name, but she has a lot of embroidery machines. Check her out, too. She has over, she has a whole warehouse full of ma machines. Angela, can't think of her last name. But, yeah, she was, just, I was looking at her TikTok. I was looking at her video about TikTok, and she's doing really good with TikTok. And I said, let me get my butt on TikTok and start doing some stuff. So that's why I said I was on the I was on the I was on the I was on the road today. I did like three videos today on you, but it wasn't business. It was just me being cute, no, uh, just doing different things. But I do have a lot of food videos, and I do have some pictures in my phone that I was embroidering my the stuff that I was doing today. I'm gonna put it on TikTok because I did make some videos on me embroidering these patches I did today. Matter of fact, I got to take a picture of them now because they're done. I still have 55 people in here watching me, y'all. Y'all ain't tired yet? Your smaller machine would be recommended for, um, yes, your smaller machines would be rec recommended for um, beginners because you might not like it. Like, that's why I bought the small embroidery machine the first time because I didn't know if I was going to like embroidery. I bought the small um, heat press because I didn't know if I was going to like it. I bought the small sublimation printer just trying to save money to make sure because you don't want to spend all your money and be like, oh my God, this, I, can't, I can't stand this. I don't like it. You don't want to do that and be disappointed and then want to sell it. I have never want to sell it on my, I never want to sell it on my machines. Never. Because I just don't. Because like I said, I have three, I have four embroidery machines. Two one needle and two um, big commercial ones one six needle one two needle i would never sell them because if i get some orders i know i can do i can do like five projects at one time but the only thing is you had to have the space for all this stuff i don't have the space right now so i'm looking for somewhere to, so i can be able to do some two um one-on-one -on -one trainings here in arizona so i'm looking for that now um because they don't have basements down here that would be ideal to have a basement or they're just a bigger uh, uh, um they have big houses down here so even, i'm looking in the process of buying me a house um, I'm gonna stay, wait, I'm gonna wait a year because I don't know where what state I want to be in yet. So if I find me a big house and I can be able to have my machine, my my area like that, you know, in a bigger size room. So I'm I'm just getting ready to look into like get me get buy me a house. Oh, see, look at you, Michelle. You know me, you know me, don't you? She been she must been rocking me rocking with me since the beginning. She said you have three single machines, don't you? I did, but I left one in Toledo. The only reason why I didn't ever, I, when I first started, when COVID, I bought a, cause I didn't know I was gonna like sewing. I didn't know if I was like, if I was gonna like embroidery. So I believe I bought that one before I bought my 800. I bought this, um, yeah, I bought this on my son. Like, hurry up, we gotta go to Walmart. We do gotta go to Walmart. Um, I bought this, um, this um, sewing machine slash embroidery machine. And I just bought it because I didn't know I was going to like it. So I said, let me just buy it. But it was, I'm not going to say a waste of money because I could still use a sewing machine. But it 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 stopped working. Well, I didn't get it fixed. If something happened, I just didn't get it fixed. So I just left it. But yeah, so she's right. I did have three SE400. And she didn't remember the name. Oh my gosh. Yes, it was a SE400. I bought that first and it was, like I said, I bought it and I was still was able to, the embroidery machine stopped working. I don't know what happened to it, but I was able to still sew. Or no, you know why I stopped using it? Because the cutter, the cutter of the, um, the thread cutter didn't work. I'm like, I'm not about to keep on trying to thread that thing. I'm, you know, I can't see. So I'm trying to thread it. I can't do that. So I was like, forget it. So, and I think I lost the plug to it, to the cord to it. So that's why I said it's been sitting around my house. I'm like, forget it. So I just left it there. But yeah, she's right. I did have three embroidery machines, but that was only a four by four. That was the first one I bought, and I was doing all four by four patches, and that was not good because you want to don't. My thing, somebody said you should buy the smallest embroidery machine. Do not, do not. From my opinion, do not buy the four by four hoop. And they have them everywhere. They have them at Michael. No, they have them at Joanne Fabric. They have it at Hobby Lobby. People are like, oh my God, this is an embroidery machine. I should get it. I wouldn't. Because you're going to be upset. And I wasn't upset because I bought it and it was a, it was an embroidery machine slash uh, sewing machine. So I could still use a sewing machine. But some of these embroidery machines, it's got a 4x4 four four hoop. It's not a, a sewing machine. It's probably just a basic embroidery machine, which is 4x4 four four hoop. And 4x4 four four hoop is like this. This is it. And it's this big right here, but it's not big. This is a four, this is the biggest I can get. 
for this head you can't get no bigger than this for a four by four hoop this is the big as it gets okay i can't make this head bigger if you can't understand what i'm saying so this is big as you gonna get for a four by four hoop okay this is big as you gonna get and it's okay for patches but no it's not okay for patches because people like to have the big patches like i sell a lot this is my first time selling a lot of four by four i sell five by seven hoops uh patches i sell four by four five by five five by sevens and six by nine i got all those on my website so i sell those so you're going to be limited to four by four i would advise you not to buy the four by four only embroidery machine buy if you want to buy a machine you know you're going to still be sewing and you say okay i just want to make some little stuff for my little grandson my little kids or whatever and make little images on t-shirts and onesies four by four hoop will be okay not really no let me take it back mm -mm, no four by four hoop would not be okay for a onesie i use my five by five for a onesie but four by four is good for like if you want to make a little design on little can you do four by four on hats yeah four by four is good up for hats um beanies um a lot do a lot of um <clears throat> excuse me i do a lot of um what's it called <laughs> pot holders um you could do little like hand towels like i did some hand towels for my pastor but his initials on his head hand towels that's a good little thing to do put little initials on his hand towels like um to be when he at church you can wipe his sweat off i did a lot of those so let me show you so this is like a four by four pattern like i use this to cut my 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 um fabric out so this is how big it's gonna be the, the pattern for a four by four and then a five by five just a little this is how big it's gonna be for a five by seven Okay, this is how big the five by seven is. So just see how big it is on my shirt, five by seven. So you could do five by seven on hoodies, cause you could put like a little design, but it could be it ain't gonna be no big old, big old face or nothing. It's gonna be like some words. Like you could put like a clothing line brand on here, five by seven. But you could also do a, a clothing line on here, like if you're doing left or right chest logos or whatever. It's cool to do that too. But if you want a big design, the biggest you gonna get is a um six by nine. That's how big it's gonna be. Six by nine on my one on that envy it's a novice um nq 1600 this is how big it's gonna be and it's not gonna be this big i'm just showing you this because this is the fabric i use to cut out my fabric for patches and you still have to make sure it's this big to fill the the to fill the um to fill the um hoop but as it doesn't mean it's gonna be this big the image is gonna be about this big see how much you gotta have enough space for it to be um hold you know for the hoop so it's gonna be the image about to be about this gonna be about this big for a five by seven see how much space you have left from all that you use no 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 no. i'm sorry i'm sorry this is a six by nine this is a five by seven i'm sorry so this is a five by seven image so this is how much space you have and i don't have anything that i printed out for a six by nine because it's gone i don't know what i did with that i think i lost it or somebody took it i had a whole bag of patches that i, sh I showed y'all but look at my videos um neither here nor there that's it y'all i'm tired girl i thought about you yesterday i haven't seen you in a minute good to see you thank you who is that imposing gestures gestures hey yeah i'm out here in these streets now <laughs> on these videos i've been gone for four months y'all as far as doing lies my this my and i didn't even know when I came on this video to look and see what last time I did live, it said four months. I'm like, whoa, this time went by fast. So yeah, I've been gone for four months. Life been lifing, but I'm back on my feet now. I'm getting everything together here in Arizona. Um, that thank you. My little church dress. I'm at the church today, and I ain't changed my I ain't changed clothes. I said, let me go ahead and get on this video. But um, so yeah, I am here. I am back, and I am ready to do some more designing and creating and and one on ones and. All kind of stuff. So if y'all want any, any one on ones with me, I can basically do one on ones right now on um um video video chat, any platform you want to do it on. And we could like I said, I did I did so many videos, so many one on ones on video, and it's so easy. I thought it was gonna be hard to do it, but it's so nice. I love doing. It. I show people how to sew, and we on on phone on the phone. And you can still learn. I did sublimation. I did patches. I did all kinds of stuff. So if you want to do a one on one, go ahead and inbox me on Facebook, which is Charmaine Hayes on Facebook, and we can um, set up an appointment. And it's basically my uh, times. It's, it's like you can get three sessions, and you if three two hour sessions, I believe. I haven't did one minutes. It's been over four months because I haven't been 
I just been a lot going on. So now I'm ready to get started, get back, get back on to business. So and our times is different, so we'll figure it out. You did a lot of stuff for your daycare on that machine. Which one? Oh, you're talking about the sewing machine? That dress is cute. Thank you. I thought I changed my hair. You changed yours as much as I did. Yeah. When do you when you did that Beyonce video, you still made stuff for the grandbaby. Always had a great heart. Three years together. Thank you. I can't even, I'm really like I'm slow. I can't see because I got no glasses on. But thank you, T is it Tara. Thank you, Tara. Three years strong. Yes, yes, yes. Um, oh yeah, I've making stuff for my granddaughter. Yes. So yeah, it's been three years. It's almost four. So yeah, it's always been four years. Because I started when my daughter was pregnant with her daughter. Yep. And now she has a one year old. He's his birthday was yesterday. So I'm making stuff for him too. So yes, 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 yes. So it's been about four years. Okay, y'all. I would love to talk to y'all all night. But I'm got to go feed my face. But don't forget to check out my Etsy page. Don't forget to check out my TikTok. I have I just did three videos today. Y'all got to go check them out. Y'all go just check out my Etsy page. My TikTok is uh, Miss Charming Gal. The link is below. Check out my TikTok. It's fun, fun doing videos on TikTok. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to start doing videos. Yes, yeah, right. I'm going to start doing videos weekly. Everybody said they going to be doing on Sunday. Um... So, I can do some on Sundays if I'm not busy with my son. But if not on Sundays, it would definitely be on Mondays because I'm off on Mondays. So, that would be Monday night. Um, my time would probably be, I don't know, I'm not going to tell you all time. But it's going to be probably either Sunday night or Monday night. Excuse me, I'm going to be doing my videos. So, I'm going to definitely start getting back at y'all once a week, y'all. So, you'll just be looking forward to seeing my mouth run 100 miles per hour. And that's how I talk. For once a week starting next week well this week because i i'm here this week so start today i'll be back every week now i gotta get focused to get this stuff done because i got a lot of orders i gotta get done so i'll be doing a lot of orders and also doing question and answers q and a's or either to let me know what y'all want me to do on these videos so i can come back and say okay i'll do that because i don't know what to do and i don't come on video if i can't find nothing to do so let me know what y'all want me to do so i can have something to do and not be blabbering, 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 blabbering all day. I like to talk. I am really a quiet person in person, but I talk a lot on YouTube. Okay. Oh, she said, don't leave us like that again. I won't. I won't. I appreciate the love and the support. All right, y'all. I have to go. I'm tired. Y'all have a good night. Hope you have a good week. And I probably will see y'all tomorrow. But if not, I will definitely see y'all next Sunday. All right. Be blessed. Bye.